How you doing, people? Welcome to the stream. I was nearly not going to make it. I am rough as fuck today, so excuse me if I sniffle and whinge about it. Let's see what we got. Um, on YouTube, Ian, Lols, Maureen, CGI Shadow, and Lee. How you doing? Welcome to the stream. You completed a trifecta on Nightblade. Did you really? Do you remember what the name of the build was called since you did it? Um, yeah, we've been here before. Um, where are we? CGI Shadow on Twitch. Arblazer, Shady Milkman, Vaderog, Lonely Girl, Tash, Howland's... I don't know what and he said your name wrong. Trevelyan, Brad Guns, uh, One Little Chick, Pauline, Kazzy, HG Wells, Pad63, Only Angels Fallen, Tweety Girl. So, I was going to not bother streaming, but obviously that wouldn't get me anywhere, wouldn't get you anywhere, so I'm here anyway. So, I'm going to get this fucking medication in my face, and hopefully over the next half an hour, I'll feel a bit more better. But yes, I've been feeling fucking sorry for myself on the sofa all day. <laughs> fucking crazy. You stay as prone as shit. Did you look that up? <laughs> I know it's a new account. I'm aware. I can see it. Um, good evening, Zion Chat. How you doing, real army guy? You didn't say hi again. How you doing? Man flu. Actual flu. One of the kids has got it as well. We're completely fucked. They've been off school and all sorts. So it's poo-poo. I wish it was man flu. That would be great. 
No. Once a year, I fucking end up with a dose of it. But because I've got to keep working, I just have to go through it. Blind Delusions, how you doing? Welcome to the stream. This shit is going to make me feel better, though. This is called mine. So there. Oh, man. So how is everyone been on Saturday already? Are you pissed yet? This, by the way. Uh, I went in today because I was doing some stuff and things and getting recordings and shit. Do you want to see one of the recordings? I see one. Ben, how you doing? Welcome to the stream. This is just for fun. Um, because why not? We get clips like this all the time in the Endless Archive. Here's, here's a funny boss. Let me rewind that so you can prepare yourselves. All right, this is the start of it. Are you ready? <laughs> Sergio, Lena, Fles, how you doing? Tony Boy, also welcome. All right, we'll start again. That's Barbas. And Barbas is dead. And he gets slapped really fucking hard. Good night. By the way, don't let anyone tell you companions are useless. They're fucking really fun. Um, Miri has managed to keep me alive for ages, which is useful because I'm squishy as fuck. Um, it's been a weird day in the game for me. A series of unfortunate events. Well, that's not good. Now you have to go into un um, Endless Archive. This is the worst thing going. It is if it's official man flu. Like if I'm just whinging because I'm a dude and, and got the flu. But no, an actual dose of it. Luckily enough, it's not fucking COVID. But um, I can't remember the last time I had a fucking flu jab, and I get flu all the time. So stay away. You'll catch it. Cool mods, bro. Right? Someone fucking said that on the internet. They're like, oh, you're using mods. You're cheating because people who get paid... Uh, what was it? People who work for Zos get um, cheats. No. People who work for Zos get an internal server so they can test stuff. But when they go on their own accounts, they don't get cheats. They get to just play it properly. And guess what? Regardless of their support, which I appreciate, and regardless of their um, amazing game and noise they make about the channel, legally, I do not work for Zos. So no, I don't get fucking cheats. So shut up. I'm in a stream team. I'm a stream team partner. I'm a Bethesda partner as well. I do not work for their company as an employee. And even if I did, I wouldn't get cheats. So shut up. You're just shit. Um, I was wondering why I couldn't hear anything that I remembered. I needed to turn my headset on. That's a good start. Always make sure you do that. But, um, today... I ended up going in... What the fuck is Bob doing? Bet pledges. Bob, why don't you go in the Almost Immortal Warrior and come help? I went into, uh, Endless Archive today, off comms, because I couldn't fucking speak, with Trevelyan, actually, who was on the Almost Immortal Warrior. Uh, slightly adapted. Uh, what's the best way to build companions for EA? Entirely up to you. There's no right or wrong way to do that. It depends on what you have as far as your build is concerned versus what you're missing. So I just basically made mine do heals and a bit of damage. But mine's not maxed, so it's it's a bit shit. I mean, it's not totally shit, but um, it could be better. One massive, massive tip for anyone using companions, by the way. Undaunted. They have the blood funnel or the blood altar, and they also have a 20 e 28 meter range bone shield. No player can give you a 28 meter range bone shield. It's six meters. It's fucking insane. And they fire it all the time, especially if you put them in the right order. When I say right order, left to right is order of priority for the companion. So if you are using one, you do want some protection. Put blood funnel and bone shield, whatever the fuck it's called, um, from the Undaunted Skill line on their bar. It's really helpful. Um, hello, Zion Ninjas. Gravy, how you doing? Bob, welcome to the stream. But um, yeah, we went in with Trevelyan today. Again, no comms, no real plan. Just kind of trying to focus, get some clips, and then just do some stuff. And uh, we got 831, eight, something like that. We got denied, though, because the fucking boss came in. Trevelyan was tanking Waterboy. That's what we're going to call him now, Waterboy. Yeah, we got Waterboy. He was in there, and um, he took all the hits. He was fine. Took the big splash. Absolutely fine. Took the big hit. Absolutely fine. 30, 40 seconds into the fight. Don't know what the fuck happened, but he took a heavy attack and died. So I think he got interrupted or, or pushed by one of the other minions because there was quite a few ads in the room. Marauders can suck feet for the council. They fucking can. That was a lucky dude. If it wasn't for that, we could have gone probably to nine easily. I mean, I mean, we had a couple of unlucky Marauders. One of them got stuck on the fucking stairs. That didn't help. Put my feet into a trial as a tank for the first time today. VCR plus one. It was kind of a mess, but said I did good. Nice. Congratulations. Valerian, how you doing? Welcome to the stream. Excuse me while I prod my eye because I've got just shit leaking out of my face at the moment. Which hopefully you can't see, but it's irritating. It's a really long message. Blind illusions, hold on. 
Managed to make an Oak on Soul, Lightning wielding, all in Legion with other sets dependent on class and Dark build for each class, minus Nightblade, because I'm going to make this version of Status Pro. So pretty good Saturday. Awesome. So basically, you use the Lazy Sork and stuck Legion on it, and now you're happy because it's not dead. Good shit. It's really good. Um, hello, Zion Ninjas. How you doing, White Tiger? Welcome to the stream. I've actually messed with myself, but I put the heavy on the, the weapons and then didn't use Sergeant. And uh, it kind of worked. But then if you are using full heavy, I mean, you're tanky as fuck. That'll work. And then you can just build for buffs as you go. So that's the good thing about Endless Archive. You can constantly go. Uh, working on my EA character. Me, how you doing? Welcome to the stream. Um, what's up, Zion Ninjas? I'm fucking rough as shit, dude. I feel like I said it in Discord earlier. I feel like I've been punched in the face with the back of a badger. It's fucking not good. But we're going to do stuff anyway. I am going to try and get this shit in me so that I perk up. I'm alert. I just feel like shit. Have you heard about the madness Malcolm is insane. What did I tell you? What did I tell you, Howlin? I told you. You're not even done with it? Just bear in mind, you've got to be very, very careful when you swap bars because you don't have the block mitigation on the two-hander. Unless, of course, you take that bonus from the champion points, which wasn't in the video. So, a small tip there. Um, this was for science. That I've actually been messing with, but we'll deal with that later. Do we have someone on a, a tank on PlayStation EU that wants to do Endless Archive that is capable, listen, of at least putting down a ground heal? I don't care if that's a proc. I don't care if it's a cast. As long as there's a ground heal. Because I'm going to need one at the end of all the rounds. I'm squishy. If we do, whisper me in game. Let's go. Checking the PS5. Uh, are you coming from NA? It's so weird starting over. It is, but what you have to consider it. I mean, you probably already considered this yourself anyway, RJ. You, um, you have experience. So you kind of know where you want to go already. So it's a bit quicker. Demon Cat, thank you very much. No, my takes him there. Sergio, well, fucking rip. How can all ten of them be that? I know you're being facetious. That's a joke, I know. Imagine all ten of them being the best. How the fuck can you have all ten being the best when best is one? You did, having so much fun with it. Tried using Easy Sork in EA, not bad. It's it's Easy Sork is really good in there, but you've obviously got to consider you've got two bars. And it depends on the player. Lazy Sork, ten times fucking easier. Why don't you go solo? I do. All the time. Been playing this for weeks on stream. Today I'm asking for someone from the audience to join. If they would like to. Is that okay? <laughs> don't worry, I'm I'm for, I'm sarcastic all the fucking time. I have to keep up with two chats. I'm actually on the YouTube and Twitch at the same time today. Again, and I will be for the foreseeable so long as nothing breaks. Um, help my sister build enormous amount of warrior, long way to go. And since she's just returned into the game, things like trade research and antiquities and mythical, and then she needs to level up, hoping she'll enjoy it. That's a really long way around that unforgiven carpet. I know you haven't been dead on stream for a long time, but your messages are as long as Blind Illusion's arm. And Blind Illusion's arm is there to pat everyone on the back when he gets them up on his lazy sork. It's a true story. Are you on the EU leaderboard? Yes. Um, am I try hard for the leaderboard? Not yet. I've been getting people involved from ninjas or the stream and maybe later on I'll fucking gun for it. But at the moment, I'm waiting for the bugs to be fixed. Um, but we're still going for it. We'll still go as far as we can, whoever joins. Um, I don't know how to make short sentences. You just did. Congratulations. Uh, you've been doing endless for some time now. What are your favorite classes so far? Um, to be perfectly honest, you ask me this a lot. I don't really have a favorite. Because this is the problem, right? I take a class, a class, which is very, very broad. I take a class, Adrea, let's go. I take a class in there or a build in there that happens to be a particular class. And I'll play the shit out of it. I'll adapt it for the place or try to. I'll then focus on certain buffs, bonuses, etc, etc while I'm in there. And then I'll just play it and play it and play it and play it. Then I'll swap out and play something else. And I'll play that just as much. I'll play the crap out of it. So it's, it's not... It's not a situation or, or even a case where I can say which is best. I can just tell you that every single one I've put in there so far, I've enjoyed the fuck out of. Uh, do you rebind on or swap your controller? No, as you not. You mean the bar swap stuff? No, 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 no. That's still, as you you can hear it. That's left, that's right. And that would be the bar swap, but it's not anymore. I don't change anything. Everything I do is, is default. 
The only thing I'd change on the UI, obviously, um, is a is a choice. And this is something that lots of people don't know about, but there is a video about it. So if you put beginner in the chat, there is a guide there. Uh, let me get some more of this medicine in me. Hold on. I can feel a little bit better already. Now, combat, ability timers on, attribute bars on, number and percentage on, ulti on. Combat techs, all of it's on. Buffs and debuffs all on for everyone, everything. And overheal as well. Overheal is important because you can tell if someone's actually healing you or not. Because if you've got full health and someone heals you, you don't see the numbers. But if you have overheal, you can see that they are healing you and you can see how strong it is. So you don't have to track all the buffs, bonuses and shit. But I make content for this for a living, so I want to. I want to make sure I can see it all. But that's where they are. Go to options, go to combat, and you can change all that shit there. That's why my health bar, you can see the numbers and the percentage rather than just an awkward bar. Um, Adrea? Which version are you using, if you don't mind me asking? Also, do you have deep breath? Because you're going to fucking need it. That's White Tiger. Hello. Hi. You look like Adrea. Except shinier. Mm -mm -mm. Bob is doing pledges and looking for a DPS or a healer. I would whisper him if you want to join him. Is there a way to auto run while bar swapping? No. I mean, you could probably do that on PC if you bound it, but um, on here? No, 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 no. You, you have to push with your thumb to move. And then you can kind of bring... Like this. You can bring your finger down and click it there. But you can change the buttons on PlayStation. It just alters everything for the whole fucking PlayStation. Which is the point. Yeah, it's ruined content for me now. I want visions after every single boss in all dungeons. Now, I don't fucking blame you, dude. Find it clunky to stop running and bar swap. I don't stop running. Okay, so I'll take... Let me take a weapon off. Uh, in fact, take the ring off. So, this is a bar swap. And I run around while bar swapping and jumping and everything. See? Easy peasy. Don't draw bar swap. Run bar swap. I can do... It's not a problem, but it depends on whether you're physically capable of doing it or not, because some people struggle to obviously move their finger down to that angle. Um, here's a tip. Here's a tip. If you want to learn how to bar swap without doing that, and it's safe to do so in content, because bear in mind, some content might be very, very tricky to do this. How do you do that? Like this. So here's your thumb, right? And there's, there's your trigger finger. Bring that down while you're still moving, and you can swap. Now, there's another way to do that. If you can't physically do that, because I know people have mobility issues, um, here's another trick. Jump while running. Jump while running. I do this in current all the time to check the map without slowing down. And I do it in ESO as well. So if you're running, okay, you're running and you jump, you can't move in the air while jumping. You're already moving. You've gained momentum. So while you are jumping, swap bars. Don't do that in all content because it's going to be very, very tricky. But if you jump, swap, jump, swap, jump, swap. That happens when you're running. So do this and carry on again. So get your thumb off, jump, swap, and then carry on. Jump, swap, and carry on. You can do that if you have to move around or run at the same time. So if you can't move your finger down to that angle, while sprinting, jump, swap allows you that like split second period of time to move from, from the analog to the D-pad. Tired of Which bug bothers you the most in EA? Um, the one where you lose a life because someone's too fucking far away and the game thinks that you've been cheating. <laughs> um, always customize the color of my enemy. Anyway, the default red and bright blue or any other color that's easy to use. Fair enough. Um, not asking about best classes. Just wondering what class you had that you enjoy. I enjoy all of them, dude. I don't really care. It doesn't It doesn't phase me. I'll play anything. Um, sometimes the red can be hard to see. So the colors, I'm going to go over this really quickly before I get a dryer in. But the colors are here, if anyone doesn't know already. Options, gameplay, and you can scroll down. On PC as well, if you're in gamepad mode, this is how you do it. If you're on uh, mouse and keyboard, it's the same way. It just looks a little different. Um, same menu. You can change your friendly colors and their brightness and their intensity and all that kind of stuff. Or your negative colors. I'm going to make this very, very clear before someone shouts about how hot pink is best. Because I, I, I couldn't give any less fucks what you think is best. This is the most important thing for you to understand, okay? It's not a trendy thing where people all start telling you what you have to do. You are using your eyes, okay? Your eyes. So you do what's best for your visibility. Like if you can't see it, it doesn't matter what your friend on your fucking shoulder is saying about what color you have to pick. If you want to pick a luminous fucking yellow and it's there, pick it. If you want to pick stupidly bright pink, 
pick it. If you need green for negative AoE, pick it. Use whatever your eyes can see. People do genuinely have issues with color, right? They can't see certain colors. There's lots of color blindness and lots of different variants of it. Don't listen to the coolest person on the internet that you think is telling you everything you have to do or else when you're the one that's going to suffer from it. If you need to see the AoEs, you change the color to a color that suits you. The color of your AoE doesn't affect a single person in that room. No one else can see it. Even if someone walks into your living room while you're playing it, they might see it slightly different to you. Your eyes. Pick what works. If it's fucking bright red, pick bright red. For me, I don't like bright red because I think it blends in too much with the lava levels. But that's a choice. You can make it. Don't be misled by people trying to force you to pick a cool color because you were told to and it negatively affects you because you can't fucking see it. So again, um, without sounding like a toxic piece of shit, it's your eyes that you're using. And when it comes to your own setup and you want to try and compromise versus the... Uh, not compromise. You want to um, consolidate all your stats and sets and shit together to try and uh, comprise a group together. Then, fair enough. You can talk about that. That's a discussion that can be had. But as far as the color of your AoEs is concerned, it's your business and nobody else's. I've seen so many fucking arguments about it. I've seen people kicked out of groups because they were asked what color did they use for their AoEs. And they told the group... And because the group leader disagreed with it because they thought they couldn't see it, they decided to kick them. Don't have that argument with people. It's not even a question. If anyone asks it, it's none of their business. Unless they're just one of your friends and genuinely curious because they can't see stuff. Fucking weird. Um, we need to know the meta colors. I shut up, unforgiven carpet. Uh, red can be pretty hard to see. Depending on what your visual uh, vision is like, yes, it can be. And bear in mind, lots of people that are colorblind don't have the same issues as far as colors are concerned. They, they might see very different things uh, differently to other people right beside me. You have two colorblind people that have different visual, uh, visions completely. But red is a very common color to get messed up. Um, so it's good that they finally allowed people to change it. Then those colors were some of the best advice I've ever been given. Yeah, set it for yours, dude. I cannot use bright yellow. That'll fuck me up. I can't. Can you? If you can, great. I'm glad you can see the AoE. Now you're not dead. And if you are dead, you just shit. <laughs> I'm joking, but it's, you know what I mean. Oh, dear. That's a deal. Uh, it's, it's mad. You wouldn't believe what other people can see from their perspective. But putting yourself in someone else's shoes is very, very difficult for the vast majority of people. It's really difficult. Um, when I was a concept artist and illustrator, obviously, when you're trying to learn how to do everything, you have to study color theory. And you'll be surprised how many people can look at the same color, like 10 people in the same room, all look at the same color and they'll tell you different things. So use what works for you. Um, let's go, Adrea. I don't know if I've got enough. I do have enough potions. Trevelyan was nice enough to give me fucking hundreds earlier. We're on the last, last round that we did. And I was like, dude, I'm out of potions. And he gave me like a thousand. And then we died. Like, peace. <laughs> it wasn't quite like that, but you know what I mean? It was like we were ready to go for some more and then we fucking wrecked it. Probably should change mine, but just never get around to it. <laughs> do it now. While you've got time to do nothing, just look in your options. Go to gameplay. Go here and just... I'm not going to move that one. Just move it around. And just change it to however you want. You've got an intensity thing here, so you can have it really dark, really, really faded or really, really bright. You can mess with that. Um, or really saturated even. So you can even have white AoEs if you really wanted, which would be strange. And um, then you can mess with how strong it is, the brightness and everything. And then you can test it. You can see here, you can have it really, really dull. Or you can have it really, really obnoxiously bright. All that can be messed with. It's entirely up to you. And you've, you've got all sorts there. Uh, you get used to it to pick your color. Uh, let me read it again. Pick a color that you can see even in the midst in the mist of different AoEs. I've picked pink because I hate it and I want to get out of it. <laughs> uh, you get used to the color you pick and it's hardwired in your brain at some point and makes it easy to play. It does. Rav, thank you very much. Dude, you're an absolute legend. Thank you very much indeed. Bit and cake in the chat, people. Five more gifted subs. Now up to a whopping... Where the fuck is the number gone? 1,430? Fucking hell, dude. Hang on. Let me press the button real quick. Ah, you thought you were going to see stuff and things. 
Thank you very much indeed. You're a legend. We have a new Dragon Ball, by the way. I'm gonna press the button. Dragon Ball. <laughs> You know the rules people to fight stats again from scratch. If you kill the Dragon Ball, you'll take their place to stream. I have to kill you instead. Thank you very much. Why are That might actually be interesting to see that. You won't be able to see it on the snow, but you might be able to see it in other things. Um, thank you for demonstrating that. Accessibility is important. It is indeed. Yo Ninjas, love. How you doing? Welcome to the stream. Um, I like the default red and tried pink, but it's too hard to see. I mean, again, it's everyone is going to have a different perspective. Everyone's going to see it different. So use what works for you. You never have to have that discussion or argument with an individual about what you should have. What you should have is something that you can see. Adrea, I've got the wrong fucking morph of my skill. I'm a noob canoe. So I need to go change this morph after we finish this round. Oh my god! <laughs> We're nearly on hype train already, people. Thank you very much, Keeks. You're a fucking lunatic. She's only been here for a short while and she's already on 185 gifted subs. Oh my god. What's the button? Headshot. Yes. Thank you very much indeed. Massively appreciate it. Bit and cake in the chat. Why is my button not working? Why is it not working? Right there. The what the fuck? You know how it works, people. Kill the Dragonborn, take the place of stream, I have to kill you instead. You're a legend. Keeks moving mad. Yeah, definitely. Uh, Sister and I nearly got Ink Slayer last night. We got to 4 uh, 5 3, but she died early and got nuked by the dragon. Fucking rip. I need to change um, uh, a morph because I got the wrong one. I was fucking with stuff earlier. I was solo. Um, more on that later this week. I was supposed to record the video today, but as you can hear, that wouldn't be fucking great because um, nobody wants to watch a YouTube video with someone ill as fuck. Um, and then keep going back to it and constantly hearing someone ill as fuck. It's, it's just not entertaining in the slightest. So, fucking rip work, basically. I mean, it's all work, but you know what I mean. It's just fucking stupid. But hopefully tomorrow I'll feel a little bit better, and then I'll get it done. Got so much to catch up on. I was right on top of the fucking schedule. Almost there, and then... Ta-da! Hit in the face with a backwards badger. Is that ninjas? How you doing today? Fucking shit. Welcome to the stream. This stuff is finished now, so I should start taking the edge off for the next hour or so. If I start deteriorating, I'm fucking off. Let's go. Using the same one by building posters posted on your website. Not exactly. So, I went over this yesterday very briefly. You are seeing a variant, and you're not getting any spoilers outside of I'm demonstrating it. The actual spoilers will be in a full video very soon. Because I've adapted it purposely for Endless Archive. By the way, bear in mind, the one on the website is 100% fine for Endless Archive because you even saw it on stream the other day. I have been using it, but I have decided to go a little bit more specific rather than just chucking it in there and using it. Adrea, this is going to sound really fucking strange, but at the end of each round, when we go to pick up our perk, I can't even fucking light attack. When we go to pick up our perk, uh, drop a heal for me. Just a funnel with the Winter's Embrace will be fine. I cannot focus. I'm looking at the book, that's why. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Thank you, Mike, for the bump. Why the fuck am I doing that? Cheers, dude. Don't worry, I'll, I'll pick up the pace a bit in a minute. You winning, son? Cheddar, how you doing? Welcome to the stream. Can we get him in? Can we get a shout out for Cheddar in the chat, please? Dude, I as fuck. I just now tanked a load of fucking Lem Sip. And other stuff as well to take the edge off. And I'm starting to wake up a bit. Poo. How's your day, dudes? If you are not following Cheddar already, you should be. Fix it. Fix it real quick. Went back into Scribner's Hall yesterday and we completed it. We were in there for six hours. Nice. Congratulations. By the way, Zai, it's your fault that I go boing now. You're welcome. Boing. And when you dodge roll, you have to go wee. It's true. Fan is not on high enough because they're supposed to be cooling me down. That'll do. Did I charge my weapons up? Yes. Ooh, that's a good start. Uh, I can't crit heal anyway. Fire damage, that will be a third of the crushing shock improved. Uh, also, the light attack and heavy attack. 
Uh, finally beat the forgotten boss of Mole in there. Twice, in fact, the only boss is giving me major trouble. Noise! Congratulations for people getting their stuff done. I didn't pick the book up, did I? I'm get this one. Oh, you fucker. You can get it between rounds. Tricky though. The budget switch is a construction worker. How you doing, Captain Lone Song? It's a different one, it's true. Light attacks are a bit laggy today. Well, input delay, if you want to call it that. Where the fuck has it gone? Got it. That should be 10, actually. Let's just start another one. I don't remember. Six. I started another one. The start of the shield the tank is using. Um, no fucking clue. Wooden. Levicon? Unless he's talking about that one. That's shield of Senchal shield. That's in the almost more warrior video. The helmet is heavy Mazatan. That's why you look like White Tiger, because you're using the same helmet as I do on the Murder of Fire original build video. Whee! He ran away, dude. He left us. Oh, wow. He popped. Bully boy. Thank you for the banner. I love the fucking synergy for the banner. So, so strong. Mm -hmm. For PS5 guild, anyone runs one or is in one. That's on you two people. We've got someone looking for a guild. Get them in. We do have one. We have a guild on every single server, but you have to look for it because I can't scale logging on and off every single one. That one, however, is not on a guild finder at the moment, so you won't have to speak to Mike Macon. Send him an in-game mail. I get you in. Hey, the fucking... Mc... Fucking Mc... It's fucking McForearms is his name. He always kills you. He should always kill you. That's what he's for. He's there to kill you. He is not there to make sandwiches. Sorry if that's confusing. It's true. Send an in-game mail to Mike... There he is. There's Mr. Mike Macon. His name is all one word, by the way. Oh, no, I'm going to sneeze. I don't want to sneeze. No sneeze for you. My lazy tank is shiny. It is indeed. I'm full of fucking shit at the moment. Not oh, someone's going to go, yeah, you are. No, I meant fucking illness. Um, and the fan is supposed to cool me down, but it's just putting dust up my nose. It's fucking shit. But, but sandwiches. Yeah, I need, I do actually need food. I've got to eat today. Too much to do. At the same time as couldn't actually record. At the same time as distracted enough to not eat food. At the same time as going to the endless archive. Did too much other stuff. I'll eat after the stream. I'll eat everything after the stream. It is called fucking McForearms. That's what his name is. I think I might have even called him that in the endless archive all about mechanics guide. And if I didn't, I meant to. That's mine. Where's the butcher? Cop this. Headbutt in the nuts. Riansu, how you doing? Welcome to the stream. What? That has no context. Should we try again? What is what? How are you? Do you have a cold? No, I have fucking flu. One of the kids has got it as well. We're both laid out with shit. I wasn't going to stream. I decided to do it anyway. And then tanked this shit, which is now gone. And hopefully I'll feel better in about half an hour. Ooh. I get it like once a fucking year. Neither of us have been vaccinated. I keep fucking forgetting. Actually, their school fucking forgot that one. They were supposed to and then it didn't turn up. Brilliant. Um, don't you love it when you have scheduled things to do and then they get fucked up? These are ninjas. I think I said hi already, didn't I? Sorry, you are sick. Hope you get better soon. Thank you very much. I need to. I've got something to do next week that I can't talk about. Cannot afford to be ill. Light attack, please. Thank you. Got some house hot noodles. Fuck yeah. You actually. Easy, just don't be sick. Right? Is it, it is as easy as that, right? Just don't get ill. Why didn't I think of that? 
so many night blades solo for leader. Not really. Not com not compared to the arcanists and shit. Take that one. Could be another night of shit buffs, isn't it? What would you consider as the brightest white color palette? Like white, obviously. Like the the, the whitest you can get. What? White tiger? Why are you trying to? Do, do you mean as in? That's a cross conversation, that is. I thought you were talking about AoEs for a second. And I thought, what the fuck? Why can't you find white on the color wheel? It's the one in the middle that's the brightest, obviously. Um, you mean uh, actual dyes, don't you? You said color palette, but you mean dyes, yes? Possibly Julianus. If not, there's another one. I can't remember what the fuck it's called. This I've been able to afford to be sick. It's often a privilege to be able to take time off to take care of yourself. Yeah, well, I cannot. Because if I do, then rent doesn't get paid. Simple as that. And obviously, I piss off an entire community because you won't get any content. And that's no good. And one person at the back is going to go, we don't mind. Yeah, you don't speak for everyone. Some people go watch someone else. Yeah, that's why it comes to mind. Yeah, I think it's the brightest one. But if not, there's been other ones recently that might match it. That's what I said. I said Julianus. Marble. That was great. Paul is too good. How you doing? Welcome to the stream. Thank you very much indeed for the resub. You are a legend. How long have you been here for? 58 months, man. Fucking hell. Thank you very much indeed. Thank you for the sub. Uh, that's a YouTube sub. That's confusing. Twitch sub is, is one thing and YouTube sub is another. Twitch follow is one thing and YouTube member is another. They're fucking weird. They can't use the same name for the same thing, but we all know that they're basically the same. Why can't they just get along? Sorry for the confusion, I meant die. Yeah, I thought you did. You said pallet when I was showing pallets earlier. That was where the crossover was, and this is a long conversation. I'm glad we got there eventually. To confirm what I said in the first place, which has been corrected twice already. <laughs> Julianus. To make that... More accurate, because someone's going to correct me still. Julianus White. Um, I'll take that. We're not going to watch others rest and recover. That's encouraging, but no, I'm still going to be here. I took my make feel better juice now. Marble according to the outfit station. Tell, them, tell the outfit station is wrong. Marble isn't that bright. Not in real life. ESO doesn't count. We're talking real life. ESO is not allowed. I'm joking. I have no idea. I, as far as I know, Juliana's white, but there's probably another one. If Marvel's that one, great. I think it also depends on the material, though, because different materials make different colors come out um, in different shades and different textures and shit as well. So it can affect different armor. Real life, is that a DLC? It is a DLC. Good graphics. Shit side quests, though. Really long side quests. Oh man, what a load of shit. Damage over, five, damage over time effects last longer. I don't need them really to last longer. Although, to be fair, that would make burning last longer. I'm going to spam them anyway. Marvel is nice, but it does have a slight pink hue to it. Yes, because it's one of those uh, special colors that has a double a double tone to it. Looking at the station is marble, but without looking at it, the army, you can't tell. You can't. There's lots of different colors in the game that come from dyes, obviously, that um, dramatically vary depending on the material. Some are quite flat and others are shiny, two-toned, whatever. Marvel's a two-tone. Pure white, Julianas. But again, depending on the material, one might show up brighter than the other. Like transliminal purple, for example. That's actually a gold purple most of the time depending on the material and depending on the light if you're in bright situations or have shiny armor it ends up being gold as i ninjas don't be dead claw how you doing welcome to the stream we did this last night because it was crossing over 12 o'clock but now today officially counts it's claw's birthday say happy birthday in the chat and put loads of beer and cake people boy black was purple in some light that's because that's one of the two-tone colors it does actually go purple as well uh, money maker skins in the DLC suck too. People don't buy your random crap. Right? They tried. And, and then 
this one of the stupid side quests is called eBay, and you always get scammed. Uh, I like the vampire arc for black. Uh, Achiever black with a wind home scale tunic is silver instead of black. Yes, there is a lot. There are over a hundred motifs in the game. All vary dramatically when it comes to colours attached to them. Pretty night bay tank, unconventional but strong pro. I'm glad you enjoyed it. It's very strong, but it's uh it was there to defeat a problem. The problem was people have tried forever to make a two-handed tank because they wanted to. They wanted to see if they could make a function in it. And while some got halfway there, no one really, really finished it. I'm not saying no one completely. I just mean content-wise, there's not much out there that was going to last very long. That does. It's absolutely solid. One of the biggest problems was block mitigation. That's fixed. We'll test it more. You don't have to test it for me. I already did it. That's why I made the build video. But you can try it yourself. Good, just got back from a very, very long day. Got dragged about with, with the, the poop nah. Thank you for asking. You really got dragged around with a baby? What the fuck, dude? He's babysitting all day on his birthday. I disagree, Claw. I disagree. Before anyone gets really distraught about that. Not his. I know more than you. Worry's dead. Don't be dead, Claw. Don't be dad, Claw. See, that's what people assume straight away. They seem as yours. Um, if it gets you free stuff, Claw, it's yours. Worst present ever, babysitting. Full nappy. Gross, dude. Whee! So when it comes to try and build testing has already been done. What you need to do is practice it. Whee! I know we can use them in similar ways, but they don't mean the same. It is very different, but it does work if you can get to grips with it. And that's, that's the variable. Comfort and practice. Man, it's took me some getting used to. It will. Because your default uh, way of play argues with the fact that it's different. So it will take practice. Then we need to practice more on Malcolm. Malcolm will take your practice as well. Come on, come on! I need the thing. What the fuck? Thank you. Best part of babysitting is handing the baby back to the parents. You're not wrong. Uh, this way. Class embodiment. I'll take it. Christina, how you doing? Welcome to the stream. Secret. Let's go. We're going to throw out soon. Not in order. So you have done some before. Never in order, is it? I have this one. And this one. Uh, bollocks. Bollocks. Ah, I'm not going to get it, dude. It's this one. Oh, fuck my life. Fuck it, let's get out of here. I hate how it shows you which one you're highlighting, but if you go past it, it still holds it, so you can't tell if you're actually on the right one or on the, no on the next one. They need to make that respond a bit faster. Get dead. I've got a character called that, actually. My necromancer is called Get Dead. Where the fuck is it? We missed one. Oh. Alright. And fucked. Don't mind me. I'll just look elsewhere for the spoils of war. I better get a good vision after this, because I keep getting shit ones. Dre, I remember the thing. Thank you. Special. Magical mag multitudes. That will work. 
Try tanking the axes in VAA. I had severe stam issues. Tanked mage pretty well though. That is because you haven't got to grips with the build yet. You saw me use it in Scrivener's Hall. Practice, Matt. Practice. It's not the same. You have to not play it the same. Why the fuck are my light attacks not working? I've used it in here quite a bit as well. Talking about Malcolm. Oh, Malcolm. You can say, well, technically the same thing. You're basically Malice and uh, almost more warrior combined. As far as application is concerned. So you're playing two builds at once. If you simplify each of the two anyway. You don't have your attack enough. So that will take some practice, but if you're on the axes, time their heavies versus yours. If they're not heavy attacking right now, you should be. They are heavy attacking, you need to block it. So you don't have to sit there and do this all the time. Wind if it's three axes, they wind up three heavies right now. Ding, ding, ding. Block, block, block. Done. Now you heavy back. Then when you've got your resources back and they start heavying again, track it, block them. But again, that will take practice. And it depends on your group because things might be going wrong. Oh shit, I thought it was a good one. It's not. I'll take it because I need to start stacking it. I'm getting nothing but prerequisites to transformations at the moment with all kind of, well, shit versions. D Macy, how you doing? Welcome to the stream. Is it Macy or Mackie? Two minutes, Macy. You don't. Oh, please. Billy, how you doing? Welcome to the stream. Where the fuck is Big Boy? Not the Minotaur. There was a caster usually in here. Nope. Ah, oh, you motherfucker! I dodged it. The long-winded heavy. Can't survive better in dungeons. Uh, I've been, but haven't attempted hard mode yet. Dude, if you can do that, you can do hard mode. You just have to add more mechanics to it. Practice. Its capability is there, but it is also subjective. It, because player skill is something that needs to be considered with any build. A lot of progress from not being able to touch DLC dungeon three weeks ago. Yeah, of course. But also, you can. You could have done three weeks ago, but you were scared into not trying. You gotta listen, dude. Go in. Don't be scared. What are you scared of? Someone you don't know going, oh my god, he died. Fuck him. Go practice. You think that dude never died before? Bollocks. Dies every day. Probably dies the most. Complete carpet. One shot. You don't get good from winning all the time. You good from you get good from learning what fucks you up. Tank the hardest roll, harder roll, or is it is it a DPS? No, 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 no. Most difficult rolls is again subjective. It depends on what you're capable of. Some people really struggle being a tank. Some people really struggle being a DPS. There's no absolute to that, Nicola. Uh-oh. Adre, remember the thing I asked you to do? You're not doing it. Thank you. I don't want to ask for that because otherwise people ask questions. That's for later. Let's go. Third carpet, I've been summoned. No, you haven't. You can sit there until someone wants to wipe their feet. It's fine. This, by the way, if you're doing it on your own. They give you a fairly good timer for it, but if you fuck it up, then you and then you start running backwards and forwards, then you're pretty much screwed. But if you go slowly around the whole room, you can do it all in one. The hardest eye roll is an alive one. Your what? Your hardest roll is an alive one. I've, do you know what? I've read that completely wrong. 
Kill Narayanev with 4.8k health left. Dude, Narayanev will fuck you up in here. Do not underestimate that thing. And uh, also the boss from Elden. Non oh, no, 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 no. Fungal 2. The one where you have to go into the bubble to protect yourself against their beam. You know, if you're in there on hard mode, you lose the hard mode. If you're out of there, you get it. In here, get in the bubble. Otherwise, you're dead. She will delete you. Buddha, how you doing? Welcome to the stream. Or oh, true points. <laughs> Blue Goblin. Fuck off. Turn me into a skeleton. No, you're not. Where the fuck is the boss? Oh, he's dead. I knew that. I had a random dungeon group asking my bill because they were amazed by it. They just bounced. Noise! You watch them tell you how shit it is. I've had that before, actually. I've had someone on stream do this. This is how backwards people are, just because of their own agendas being affected by it. They're like, oh my god! I can't believe you're alive and saved the whole group! What tank you use it? And you show them the almost immortal warrior. And they come back straight away with, yeah, this shit build. You compliment someone on their performance and then tell them what they're using is shit and they should be using something better. Imagine being amazed about something that you didn't know and then trying to advise someone about what they could do better after you've already done better than them. And that is the argument you don't have to have. If you end up in conversations with people like that, stop talking to them. You will hurt yourself. You will lose brain cells. You will never get back. Do you want some complete stranger to be responsible for your brain deteriorating? No, then don't let them. That's a useless conversation. You're doing well, but I don't like that. Do this instead, please. What? Be worse instead, so then you satisfy them. Imagine that. Why? So then they can complain about you doing worse? People are fucking precious. Selene is also quite capable of deleting you. Selene will fuck you up very, very quickly. Also, the Ash Titan. The Ash Titan's uh, sweep and also the fireball that he fires into the air will um, cause you some serious problems. That knows I've spoken the face. 100%. That's exactly what they're doing. Like Voldemort. Mr. No Nose. Who's honestly scared of someone in a fucking nightgown and no nose? Fucking asthma. Villains don't deserve a nose. <laughs> I got stuff on me, dude. Thank you. Lady Fawn keeps curb stomping. Dude, Lady Fawn is quite nasty. Do you want to know what's nasty, Pad Free, as well as Lady Fawn? Lady fucking Belen. Or well, Belen, or whatever the fuck she's called. That mechanic at the end when she's low health, that will delete your character and everybody else's character you know. She's horrible. Electric lizard horse thing will absolutely... Electric lizard horse thing? Wash your mouth up, Blind Delusions. That is a Manticora. Manticora is one of the coolest enemies in the game. Lady Belen. That's not what I said. Nice try, though. Um, <laughs> you hate Belain. Dude, the, the bit at the end, it's like they... They basically gave you VKA hard mode to solo. Because all the vampire mechanics all kick in. It's quite nasty. You've been drinking all day? No. Oh, you've been day drinking even. Day drinking's fine. Afternoon drinking's not. Because afternoon drink will put you to sleep. Well, if you stop, anyway. We're going to get some good vision soon. I promise. How about that? I made a promise, though. You watch me get shit. Be a liar. Light attack bonus, I'll take it. Have another buff. 
Yes, I use a consumable if we didn't get a Marauder. Which we do, actually. We haven't had one yet. Class embodiment, that'll do. Celine, you had to say it, didn't you? If I were here for academic purposes, that'd be a good thing. Don't worry, she's dead. Bitch! Come back. Oh, I was... Do you know what? That actual spread mechanic there pops a little bit sooner than it should. I was ready to dodge it. Yinglings, you've been drinking that stuff? That's not that strong, dude. Unless you've had a lot. If you start early, you may sleep earlier. You may. This is true. Never encountered her in game before Endless, but I have done the case, so it was similar enough to that I somehow survived. Also, it's in the guide that you may have watched, so that might help. Uh, much of damage over time effects are increased. I don't need them to last longer. Not really. Take that. I'm getting shit visions, people. Really shit ones. They are all so small as far as passives are concerned, unless you stack loads of them. I don't want to stack loads of them. I want focused fucking efforts four times over. I want the Juffy bleed, and I want the flames on the floor. Drink an ice break or pale ale. Awesome. I'm just jealous. I don't have any beer. Although I can't have beer because I'm fucking medication. So rip. Marauder! Oh my god. Fucking McForearms is in the room. I'm on him. I'm on him. Don't be dead, Adrea. I could use a verse here, but I'm not going to because it's early, so we should be okay. I don't even have the Juffy bleed. Oh my god, wrong button. Why are my light attacks not firing? Come on. Thank you. It's really delayed today. The fucking input lag is horrendous. I'm firing them, but they're not. They're hitting, but you can't see them. What the fuck? He's dead anyway, whatever. Yeah, Soto and Duo only. Correct. That's that's the point of it. One player or two players. Your companion counts as another player. Why are light attacks not fu I pressed that like four times then and nothing came out. My control knackered. Far and now. Getting all heated, that's why. Can't stop running that. And it's archive? No, it's fucking insane, dude. Is fun. Is. Yes. Uh, I was just about to join in. But I see my aside from what I had seen on the stream, but I wanted full experience of a few spoilers as possible. Watch the guy then I watched the guide. Good! That means you got to see stuff firsthand. Still haven't stepped foot in there. Just re-upped ESO Plus today. Get in there. Get in there. You will fucking love it. Every single time you go in, it's different. You might get shit versus. You might get really amazing ones. You're basically rebuilding your build all the way through until you're dead. Dead fucking hell. Do it. Yes. The drain is fire shot. Oh, it's yours. Never mind. I thought you had the fire buff. That's not a fire buff. That's a heal. I got some pills for that. It can help you with light attacks. I hope so. Fire. Fucking ultimate wouldn't come out. What the fuck? You got pills for that, Mike? This fuck has to die. It's pressing the buttons and it just wouldn't fucking let me do it. Frenzy deal, let's go. Double buff. 
What else have we got? Give me a sanguinate. That work. Although it's already fucking triggered, so we've got to wait for a cooldown now. Remember that lightning horse that Blind Vision said a minute ago? It's not a lightning horse, it's a manti. Manticoras are one of the coolest fucking models in the entire game. Fight me, I don't care. They are amazing. They're also horrible, horrible bastards. Who hit really hard and need to be dead. So while I appreciate their aesthetics, I like them better when they're dead. You all have one suffer from ulti not coming out. Tell to your doctor about Blue Chew by AstraZeneca. Oh dear, that'll work. Cat is manifesting bosses right now. Yep, someone said Celine, we got it. Someone said Manti, we got it. Someone said good buffs, we got shit ones. I'm getting rid of shit ones. Hi Zion YouTube. Jesse, how you doing? Welcome to the stream. That's on YouTube, by the way. I'm on YouTube and Twitch at the same time. Sorry if that's confusing. Burning, burning, burning. I still haven't got focused efforts yet. We're nearly in arc three. We're in arc two, but we're nearly in arc three. I got shit buffs. All flat passive bonuses, which I don't want. They are helpful, but not right now. Excuse me. Whoops. I hate the gates. Horrible fucking sorcerers. They need Manti 12 man group mount. They they do need a Manti mount. That would be brilliant. Uh, they're all shit. Oh, that, that's not terrible. Thank you for the follow. David, how you doing? Welcome to the stream. You got a fucking wind, you bastard. I wanted those. Good evening. Forgotten. How you doing? Welcome to the stream. All the way on Costadel YouTube. I'll bring him in. Don't worry. We've switched roles, actually, because last time we did this, Adrea was the deeps. Green Zion Ninjas. Bl uh, I can't even say. I was going to say Blind Illusion because he typed as well. Transplant dude, how you doing? Uh, maybe we should try Reverse Ecology, Bad Versus for Zion and Adrea. A plague on both fishes. No, because then I'll get that anyway. Sod's Law will just happen. What did I get? Something nice. Rebirth and... Vinny, how you doing? Welcome to the stream. Exsanguinate is one of the best ones I can get on this build. Just saying. It is insane. Oh, fuck off. Mason, how you doing? Please don't give me the fucking stuff change bug. It doesn't all the time, but most of the time it does. The stun only works, found out the other day. The stun only works if you're actually looking at them. Where it was hitting stuff in the back before, when you weren't facing them, it was a bit of a bug. Dre, don't be dead. He's dead. Fuck. Did you get killed by a zombie? Sounds like a zombie's trying to get me. It is. Wind. Gotcha, gotcha.
That's a lot of zombies. They can fuck off. Oh, fuck. I ran straight into the wind. I knew that was going to happen. They escaped us, dude. Now I'm going to do the thing. Hold on. Can you still hear me? That's where the whole chat goes. Yes, we can still hear you. Show us your fucking screen. No. You have to wait until the video. <laughs> uh, I'm done, dude. Manticore is also one of the rarer enemies in ESO. Yes. It's also one of the earliest enemies in ESO. Oh, shit. I just landed on the arm of my chair and then slipped and nearly banged my face on the desk. That would not have been good. Even Zion Ninjas. I think I said hi to Mason already. You know what happens when I'm solo in here and I'm on early arcs and I get the eyeball round? I walk out. Fuck it. Don't want the verse. He did. Awesome. Oh, man. He's got a drink in a minute. Do the boss first. Andrea, are you done? Let's go. Oi, let's go. He's easy, don't worry. He's also dead. We got exsanguinate. He doesn't stand a chance. Rip. Just start playing ESO. It's a bit overwhelming with me. Uh, me need a beginner's build help, please. Um, so, you probably won't like this tip, but I'm going to say it anyway. Until you're level 160, so level 50 with 160 champion points, don't worry about builds. You are going to out-level all the gear you pick up. Don't worry about builds yet. Once you are 160, that's when you can start looking for stuff. So if you put builds in the chat, there's a massive page there with all the different classes and a shit ton of builds to go with it. So that will help you, but you want to look into your basic mechanics first of all, and just start doing stuff. Press buttons, find out what you like, find out what you don't like, and then invest your time in builds after 160. Anything before then will be a waste of time. Because you'll skip stuff, you'll miss stuff, and you'll out-level everything anyway. Ferocious Strikes. Of course I didn't get the one I want. Son of a bitch. I can't get the good stuff. My visions and verses are pants. I'm getting a drink. Hold on. Be right back. Oh man, I'm back. Do you think heavy tech builds will be left alone now, or do you think they'll be nerfed again? They were never nerfed again. They just altered certain sets that people chose to use that were favorites. Heavy attacking is still the same as it has been for a long time. You can heavy attack and get damage and get resources back, take advantage of off balance bonuses, and take advantage of empower. The way people build may have to adapt over time. They didn't change the base game mechanic. Um, someone please make this last fish in Blackwood appear so I can move on. If you're talking about the passives, there's videos about that. You might be pleasantly surprised at why they've done stuff like that and how you can benefit from understanding them. Let's go! There's always that favorite kind of subject matter, isn't it? Where, oh, they nerfed our bills. No, there's billions of possibilities in the game. A side effect of certain balance changes might affect you personally, but it doesn't mean they did it to spite you. They have to keep up with stuff. They have to alter things over time. Otherwise, we'll just be way, way too fucking powerful. The trick to any MMO is adapt. They will inevitably change. They have to change in order to keep up. So l when stuff does change, it should be less doom and gloom and more trying to figure stuff out. Never panic. 
Trust me, I pay my bills by teaching this for a living. If anything was really dangerous towards the game, you'd be the first to know because I'd fucking tell you. Whee! Uh, what happened? For a little bit. 314 is a major downtime leading up to the... Oh, you're talking about Final Fantasy. Sorry, I saw the tag then and just missed it. I'm supposed to not respond to people that tag other people because you're talking to somebody else. My bad. If you're confused about who I'm talking to, people, I'm on YouTube and Twitch simultaneously, so I'm reading both chats. I don't want to every single time say you on YouTube and you on Twitch because that would be exhausting. But I'm talking to both. Demon's Eye, how are we? Shit. Welcome to the stream. How you doing? Exsanguinate. Like this round is going to get deleted. Absolutely deleted. Adre, you keep forgetting the thing. Near the buff thingy. It's too late now. Don't worry. Let's go. Was a written spoil. What? Is that winner's response to Grant? You answered your own question. I love when people do that. They're like, hey, that thing that I know what it is, is that the thing? Yes, that's the thing. It's coming out of Adrea. Look at that! He's fucking dead! <laughs> Watch these. Dead. 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 I missed him. One tick. Dead. This dude, heavy and dead. DJ, welcome to the stream. Dead. 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 Fucking mad. Your package came. Um, okay. Never fear. The Calvary has what package? Oh, they're all gone. Am I supposed to know about this? Pass embodiment. We're taking it. I'm taking an extra buff as well because we're going up against the boss. Oh, beatdown's pretty good. I hope you've got some fire circles or something. Ah, oh, sorry. Yes, that's right. We don't live in the same house, so. Best of my stream, love the content. A lot to absorb after being gone since Greymore. How you doing? Welcome to the stream and thank you very much. So Will made it from the post. It must be. excited over some tarot themed fandom stuff I brought. Okay, brilliant. You probably should have led with that because I have no idea what you're talking about. Hey, my package came, did it? Uh, I, I, I don't see it anywhere. That would have been confusing to half the audience. Like, hey, is I someone you know? They did a thing. That's great, but I don't know about it. Be excited. I'm glad you got your stuff. This close to Christmas as well. Very cool. Oh, careful. For those that have no idea how to fight this boss, first of all, there is a, a guide for Endless Archive. I'm sure someone's going to put it in the chat. Hopefully they will. Uh, it's massive. There are 68 bosses demonstrated in that video. Yes, I know there's more, but I've got as many as I could over a very long period of time. Most people haven't seen them all. I have seen them all now, but didn't at the time. You've got two options when it comes to our shield. Blitz it and defend and dodge the fucking orbs or protect against the orbs or step back a bit and don't hit her. That is, again, over explained in the pinned comments in the comment section, just in case. And we'll be explained more in the written guide. But how you build depends on how you interact with that particular mechanic. If you're on Lazy Stalk, you've only got two sources of damage, so you won't actually build up five orbs anyway. But if you've got something that's very, very spammy, then you might want to lay off a bit, especially if you're squishy. Outside of that, fight the boss, then the outro, then the Manti, then the dragon. In that order. If you fight them in any other awkward orders, they will overlap and you'll get loads of them in the room at once, which you don't really want. Fucking hell. I cannot see. Ryder, how you doing? Welcome to the stream. Welcome. If you get the icicle out of the room, those tentacles aren't quite so angry. Where the fuck has he gone? Oh, there you are. Did you hear that? The ulti went off and didn't fire. I had to do it twice. Oh, you were out of range. No, I was walking in. I was 
closing the gap. No, so got no sight if you patch go, was it? And can't. No. It, no. I, I, unfortunately, you've got small bits of information that don't line up. Someone's misled you. O console didn't get altered. Empower got altered from 80 to 70. O console has Empower on it, much like many other sets do. Lots of people blamed the whole set for it, which means they don't understand the other fuck knows how many buffs are on there. It was 80%. I literally, I'm aware. You don't have to tell me that stuff. <laughs> Asking me the question rather than telling me what it is. I know what it was. I make the videos. I'm explaining that it was a tiny alteration to that buff, not to the ring. The ring just happens to have the buff. If the ring got altered, then the ring would have been affected overall. Like, there would have been a, an alteration to the overall um, set itself. That just happens to be a side effect to it. Um, just like Gallimway, that offers him power. The set didn't get altered. The buff that it applies does. I uh, hope it's in place now where it will be left alone. I would have thought so. I mean, it's absolutely fine. It didn't really affect anyone anyway. Nobody fucking noticed. It was tiny, but it was too... Very, very, very slightly alter things because the balance was tipped a little bit in its favor. That doesn't mean it is less effective in terms of its application. It's still incredibly powerful. It's just that when it came to one bar, two bar, that kind of stuff, it's supposed to be easier to use a one bar for people that want to. But if you invest in uh, lots of complicated stuff and want to get more out of it, then you will get slightly more. Uh, as far as flat numbers are concerned. However, the way that everything stacked up, additive and multiplicative buffs and bonuses alongside in power, it was possible to tip the scales in favor of the easier option or nothing. So they balanced it to make it so it's still very, very, very close, but uh, a solid choice rather than a, a must have. So that was why they did a slight adjustment there. Again, it's not 10% less DPS overall, it's 10% on that buff. And that, again, is only to that particular stack and bonus. It's not to the rest of the stuff. So it ends up being much, much less. On a very complicated build, it might be something like 2 or 3% at most. On a very simple build, not far off the same. It depends. There's lots of different variables to consider when looking at just that one thing. Spy, how you doing? Welcome to the stream. But the internet does what it does best and makes people panic about stuff they don't understand. So I wouldn't worry if you are utilizing in power as a main source of damage you can still do that in fact i'm doing it now with that heavy boom boom but the good thing that comes with that heavy is a dot which i didn't used to and that was changed last update well the one before actually steve how you doing welcome to the stream well there's no magical stuff no i don't need any of that shit none of it three shit verses i don't need Well, rip. Internet is a lot of chicken littles running around screaming. The sky's falling down, pretty much. Is I Brendan? How you doing? Welcome to the stream. You'll also see people pick up conversations that have already been had and then repeat them in front of an audience that they think doesn't uh, know about it. Not now, I'm just saying in general. Like, you'll see a forum post somewhere on any forum. Could be Reddit or something or other. And someone that's lurking or even maybe part of it usually lurking um, in that conversation, will then reword or resell that conversation back to a stranger, assuming that they haven't read it. So it makes them sound like they're clever. It happens all the time. And unfortunately, once that goes down the line, people pick up only tiny bits of information rather than the full story. And I know people are gonna tell me what that's called, and I'm aware. I'm just underlining that it happens. Big heal. Damn them lurkers. Not the Twitch and YouTube ones. Stream lurkers are great. I mean, forum lurkers. The ones that sit there and just watch everyone else talk and, and discuss and argue and bait and scream and cry and have tantrums and then go and resell that to a complete stranger like it's all theirs. You know, the Edisons of the world. Uh, Mr. Oconsol gave Major Berserk courage, force of protection. Yeah, but it's, that was overtuned, dude. You, do, you don't miss it. You can still get it. 
People never understand balance, even though it's written in fucking plain black and white. Unfortunately, the source is there, the information is there, but people don't read it. So whenever Zos does anything like that, they have a little spoiler thing underneath it where you can click it and it tells you this is what we really mean. So the reason they did that is because they didn't want you to have no buffs at all in a group. They wanted you to have a front-loaded amount of bits and pieces to cater for the fact that you are sacrificing, yes, the, the S word, sacrificing five whole skills and an ultimate. That makes it very difficult to make a one bar build if you're trying to be somewhat effective because you now have a limited amount of choice. So you sacrifice five whole skills in an ultimate. So they, they plug the gap there by giving you certain buffs and bonuses. Um, not necessarily to equal that of what might be missing, but to give you something extra. But at the same time, they didn't want you to walk into a group, loads of people bring buffs and bonuses, and none of them affect you. That would be shit. So to start with, that kind of crossed over there. What they've done now is they've given you a lots of bonuses to start with, but they've also made it so that if you do slot into a group scenario, most of the major ones will actually stack on top because you don't have the miners of them and vice versa. Where most of the buffs that you've got on there, you can either bring by yourself with the extra skills on your bar or, or not basically. It's, um, it's very difficult to get it right every single time and they had to cross over a couple of things but most of the buffs and bonuses that are there are things that you could probably easily get hold of without the need for somebody else to do it for you so the ones that you can't those ones aren't on there so the class specific ones for example like uh minor toughness minor savagery minor prophecy minor sorcery minor brutality those aren't on there so your group can still bring them there's a, there's a few others but most of the group supporting buffs um, can still be gamed. Whereas to start with, obviously, they couldn't. And that is why they changed it. They wanted you to be powerful on your own or in a group. They didn't want you to just be strong with regardless. They wanted you to be able to benefit from group support rather than not. That's what I'm trying to say. Is that a freaking lovely lady's talk? Thank you very much. So, again, when they first had it, you could just walk in and no one needed to bring anything. So, again, the one way which was fucking stupid, and that's not their intent. They don't want one way. They want you to decide. They want you to make choices. They want you to uh, comprise your groups based on bits and pieces you have access to or want to use. They don't want everyone to just turn up in the same dress and pretend to be unique, because they're not. So they want the groups to uh, figure stuff out. So yeah, that was why they altered it, um, so that things can now stack, yet when you're on your own, you're still strong, just not as strong as you were if you had your mates with you really hard to explain stuff today. <laughs> Pearson again. Look at this shit, people. Because I know where he's by. I got 13.8k pen at the minute. What the fuck? I haven't got a tank. We're going to use it now an open soul build. I do not call them an open soul build. Because it's more than just one piece of gear. But is it utilizing that piece? Yes. Imagine having nine one bar builds on your channel and other people from other channels deciding what the trendy word for it is. Even while they tell you not to use them. Oh shit! It is using the ring, yes. But there's a hell of a lot more than that in it. That's why I like to call all the gear and no idea. If people only ever worry about the gear and not the rest of the setup, then they're never going to understand the setup. There's other things that you have to put together in order for it to be a fully functioning kind of finished product, if you like. Other games, yeah, that can apply. This game, it's it's more than just that. It's a it's a contributor. It does count. Like your gear is important for your build, but it's not the only thing. There's a lot more to think about. Otherwise, if you just put gear on and start slapping buttons, you wouldn't get results. I mean, you'd hit stuff, numbers would come out, but it wouldn't be even remotely the same. There are one bar builds before open soul, and one bar builds that don't use open soul. Correct. Hundred percent accurate. And then you'll get one wet blanket on the internet going, yeah, but they weren't usable. They were. Yes, they were. It's just that you don't have the time to figure it out yourself, so you just miss it. You'll always encounter people like that, though. So, if you're one of those people out there that aspires to create their own builds and wants to try all the stuff and things, here's a massive tip for you. 
not trying to be so absolute. If you are there looking for a best, then you're going to be chasing for a very fucking long time. And you're not going to be able to keep up when things change. Consider possibilities. Give yourself a limited amount of constraints in order to design your build and then work around that. Then, once you're happy with it, see what else you can do. There's always room to adapt. There's always room to change stuff. But if you just pick up a set and go, this must be the best, put it on, done. Well, I mean, you might be happy with that, and that's fine. But your statement is inaccurate. Um, read that already. Pull up. I've got a sanguine again. Elvin, how you doing? Thank you very much. We've got a dragon war, people. 66 months on the bounce. Let's go. You know the rules, people to fight sets again from scratch. If you kill the Dragonborn, you'll take their place to stream. I'll have to kill you instead. Dude, thank you so bloody much. What an absolute legend you are. 66 months. Been here for a while. Oh my god. Yeah, if you want to try your own stuff, try it. You don't have results until you've tried. You will get people that sit there and go, hey, why are you using that for? Oh, because I'm trying it out, trying to do something. It's shit. Have you tried it? No, I don't need to. It's shit. Listen to what they just said. No, I don't need to. Which literally, by actual words, means they have not got experience from it. They don't know. They haven't tried. If you have not run the test, you do not have results. Even if you think you know the answer, you might be surprised by the outcome. Putting it down on a spreadsheet is not enough. Try it. It's a game. All sorts of things can happen. It's almost five and a half years. It almost is, right? Uh, making new characters in this game can be very expensive. I have a lot. I have almost 100% map completion in all zones on my first character maxed out in Sky and Execution. Excavation and almost Digic Order. It costs a lot of money to buy Sky Shards and new characters. Only if you want to. You could just go and do it again. Uh, so many people in games do that, like Warframe, etc. I make builds on Warframe all the time. I've been doing it for years, even actually about the same sort of time as this. I just haven't shared them online. Apart from uh, a video on YouTube recently, which was a bit of a montage where I streamed it and kind of gave people some spoilers. Also, some don't know, broke world records on that back in the day. True story. <clears throat> Very experienced in that game. I just don't have time to do it all, unfortunately. There's a problem. If you do one thing, people demand a lot, lot more. And when your time is already full, you can't really, you can't say to. If people do it, I read that one already. Uh, try to set up on eight different gear, reach the same DPS. I don't understand the, 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 the what? Um, bump it, dude. I can't see the message. I think I know what it says. We have to use specific gear. Setup. So basically, if I'm reading that correctly because I can't see it properly. Thank you, Mike. Uh, the we have to... Right, here's the thing. If someone is saying that something is best, then you have equaled it with something else. It's not best. Because something else is the same. And if you've tried something with eight different setups and they all come out to the same result, you've, you've, you've answered it again. There are many different ways to reach the same, same goal. Or as the term goes, loads of ways to skin a cat. Uh, more than one way to skin a cat. Which is weird as fuck, but it is. Uh, do you think you can make a build using all surgical skills? You could. Uh, try and do it. Scorch of support. That's what we want. Do you get to the end of the Ender's Archive yet? Nearly, dude. We've nearly completed it. That, for the people at the back, by the way, is a joke. Because stupid people have been asking shit like that. Elvin is being facetious. You don't have to look it up. It means he's... Never mind. Look it up. <laughs> I wonder if anyone does. Funny if you don't know. It's a light-hearted joke. He's being mildly sarcastic. He's making fun of the situation because stupid people keep doing it. Someone the other day was complaining, hey, we can't even complete this. It's not even fair. Um, okay. I was in a group the other day. Dude was quite cool. But halfway through, it was an. How long is this? Dude, it's called the Endless Archive. What you have to do is you say, it's like COD Zombies. 
Yeah, you just keep going till you're dead. It just gets more difficult and you just unlock cool stuff on the way. Got it. Brilliant. Cod zombies. Perfect. Survival mode. Understood. You've completed Endless Archive so many times. I bet you have. What did you get at the end? Was it cool? Actually, no spoilers. Don't tell me. I'll get them myself. Golden Sky Shard at the end of End Arc. Is there? I need to get that. Is that a werewolf shaped one? I don't want to mock people that's, that that come out with stuff like that, but I really can't, you can't help it. You don't help yourself when you say something that's stupid. I'll try and help people at the best of times, but when when you have something that is is designed to be endless and you just go until you're dead and you keep going and going and going until your lives run out, survival mode, whatever, whatever, and, and someone goes, "Well, when's the end then?" I, you set yourself up. You do set yourself up for abuse when you come out with stuff like that. I can't help you. I want to be nice, but I can't help you if you're going to be stupid. Um, how amazing would it be if Arc 100, you actually got a Golden Sky Shard furnishing? That would be amazing, and no one's got it yet. Uh, bit of cake in the chat. Cody, how you doing? Welcome to the stream. So many new furnishings. That is true. I was on my main character earlier, and I did two, um, two arcs on it. And I got the same recipe twice, which I haven't had for weeks, actually. And um, they were both gold. So that's going to make some money. Every time you come in here, you, you leave with loads of furnishing recipes. I hear that if you get syphilis at the end of Endark. Probably. The name is Endless, right? I know some people might assume, because I have to consider someone genuinely thought maybe it was just a name. But if you've looked it up enough to know it exists, you have heard enough information about the fact that it's been coming for a long time. And... We've all been on about the fact that it doesn't end. Headbutt! Oh, that was lucky. There's more for me. Um, but if you tell someone survival, they know exactly what you mean. So that's what we have to call it now. We have to call it survival mode. Because essentially that's what it is. It's just much cooler than that. So it's got a funky name. There's nowhere to run. Oh man. <clears throat> Lose my voice. Boing, boing. I can, I'll can. i help as many people as I can with information if they don't know it. But there is a line where sometimes people just have to not be stupid. I generally thought that it was a name, but I also wasn't about to ask. Don't make it weird. Because <laughs> I'll say it. I don't want to upset people. But can't be stupid. You also, Christina, haven't paid attention to the, the patches, so you probably didn't know it was coming anyway. This is all new to you. So, new people, not new to ESO, but new people to the content. Alright, fair enough. But when you when you know certain individuals, especially specific names uh, that you see on a regular basis, have been waiting for it all year and have been researching it all year and have spoken about it openly in your chat all year and then they come in and ask you stupid questions you think, what the fuck? We have a Sky Shard furnishing and we need to be able to set it gold. We just need a new one. A fucking great golden Sky Shard. Massive, massive thing. Got the fire on the ground, dude. Stick them in the fire. They'll melt. I think they have like two streams. I have zero excuses. <laughs> okay, fair. Some have though. They've been they've been watching and talking about it for a year, a whole year. They're like, "Hey, when's the end?" Oh, you hurt my brain. I want to be so nice to you, but I can't. I have to tell you, you're dumb. And that's me being nice, because because now you know. It could have been worse. You might have never found out. Ah oh, shit! We spoke about this one earlier. Ah, oh, light attack bonus, nice. Stereo, how you doing? Welcome to the stream. It ends when you die. Yes, it does. Watch out. I still haven't got the fucking Juffy Bleed yet. 
I bet Adrea has. Oh, the fire. Put it in the fire. How dare you. Fucking witch. Vampire, actually. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dude, goblin. <laughs> I don't give a fuck if you judge me for that. That was cool. Hey, I was out. At least I dodged anyway. Even if I wasn't out, I think I should have been allowed that because I dodged rod. Watch out! This mechanic sucks, feet! You gotta watch that. If you don't find a space, you're basically deleted. I thought it was my favorite patch so far. The MSR archive and the group finding the Grandmaster Craft Station is so great. They are really fucking good, dude. Get your Golden Sky Shard and become a supersonic. You know. Uh, good thanks, thanks for asking. How many skill points do you get for the Golden Sky Shard? 742, but don't tell everyone because they don't all know. I got the bleed. I literally just said I don't have the bleed. Okay, I don't have focused efforts stacked five times. We're gonna get that on every single boss now. Come on, Craft Station, you've piqued my interest. You don't know? Christina, imagine 308 crafting stations in your house and how much space that makes up and how many people cry like this. <coughs> about how housing should have more space. Bear in mind, those people obviously don't understand how memory works, but don't worry. If you were, for example, one of those people that did have 308 spaces wasted by having a million crafting stations, don't worry anymore. Because the Groundmaster Crafting Stations eat your crafting stations. That's right, they eat them. And when they eat them, they put them in the list, in the big one. So you have one station for blacksmithing and you put all your stations in it. One station for woodworking, you put all your stations in it, and so on and so forth. So now, you will have a fuck ton more space in housing, and some wicked looking stations that do shiny things when you fill them up. Yeah, it's pretty cool. I wondered how they were going to go about that because they were they had to make it so they didn't piss off the people that already spent their money. That is genius. Very, very clever addition to the game. Excuse me. Four stations instead of four times 77. Yes. Yeah, one for crafting uh, blacksmith and stuff, one for jewelry, one for woodworking and one for clothing. Be a pain if they didn't go in ABC order. <laughs> Dude, they kept adding stuff and people had to shuffle around their houses. It was messy. Burning, 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 burning. For those that don't know, someone in the chat explained what the fuck I just did. I know that was not Fire Orb. That was Zahn, and I'm keeping it for a good reason. channeling today and feeling all the stations in her house the grandmaster station was so epic yeah it's pretty cool whoa watch out for the spinning mcfucker ah uh, careful i was gonna call him something then and then i got distracted by being careful spinning mcfuck juice see that shit on the ground there the spinny stuff comes out of this dude don't step in it do not dodge roll either get out if you dodge roll through it thinking that you're saving time and creating space you're not you're creating a problem you take full damage when you dodge roll through it. So do not get caught. Time for all the enemies is arm proc. Ah, uh, ah, uh, uh, nearly, 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 nearly. You're almost there, mind distortion. Think more specific. Yes, I'm trying to get them all. Yes, I'm trying to set them on fire. Think a little bit more specific. That's what we got before I stopped was the armory system. Holy fuck, you've missed a lot. Okay, go and make the lazy sork and await my instructions. <laughs> There's so much stuff. Armory is banging though. Whee! That's a fire orb. Delete. 129k. What the fuck indeed. Oh. 
Oh, I've got wind. Excuse me. 146k. What the shit? 144. Oh, oh I ran out. Heavy. I forgot I've got the bleed, haven't I? Get dead. Use. Wrecked, 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 wrecked. Sorry, coming through. Better fire orb. I need to kill this fucker in the back of the head. Oh, I didn't reach. Fine. The night ninjas. Night, thank you very much for watching. Uh, jewelry stuff is more in line with other crafting. Yes, it is. Finally. It's not even more in line. It's exactly consistent with it. What makes me want to get on that ogre and remind uh, reminded I would need to grind scrying. You would, but go get it. Um, I got this mega collection of style pages just to finally look at them today for the first time. Must be bonkers. You must be bonkers. Stein, how you doing? Welcome to the stream. Uh, coal blast, no. Reduction to damage over effects. No, we'll take coal blast. Fuck it. If we get a loot goblin, it'll blow up. Dude, if it's a watcher, we'll just fuck off. Oh, that was a bastard thing. One. See, I can't tell which one was second because you ran past them and it highlights that instead. That's when it gets confusing. So if two people highlight two different ones, it starts fucking being all fucky. I'm going to wing it, dude. Not that one. That one. You gotta go left, remember? You gotta go left. Oh, I've done it wrong. Or maybe not. Oh, for fuck's sake. I, I didn't mean to press that. My bad. <coughs> go again. I was looking <coughs> with my button. I looked with the X button. I meant to run to the next one. Never mind. Symphony of Blades, let's go. I already used it. When did I already use it? Blue Goblin! Come back, you little fucker. Get Cold Blast in the middle. Use! And pop! Get the fuck out! Oh, we've got both mechanics at once. What the shit? Did you hear that? Did anybody else hear that? You heard my ulti go off, right? I mean, I fired it eventually, but that keeps happening. I fire it. It doesn't it doesn't actually do anything. I'm a layer master for the ice staff. Q as a tank. Get them done faster. What are you talking about? There was no context there, but uh, you just told me. I have a rather simple sounding question, but it's more than likely going to have some complex answer. I mean, that part was already complicated because you could have squished that. Um, but anticipating that, after you've done EA a few times, what is the alert continuing? Fun. Achievements. Outcome. Because you never know what's going to happen. Money, so you can spend money on the weekly. Lots of things, dude. Put EA in the chat. I uh, actually know that's wrong. Put endless in the chat. The guide is there. Everything you need to know within reason is in that video. Increase enchantments or critical damage, magical attacks. That one. Oh, bad. Blue nose, bro. Fuck off. Nobody wants to hear that. Nobody wants to hear snotty nose either. But here we are. Thank you for the link. Dude, every time you come in here, it's different. You'll get similar enemies, but they're never in the same fucking order. I didn't mean to fire that. At the moment, I'm chasing some really, really shit hot visions and I'm getting crap ones. If you can get the right ones, this is OP as fuck. I mean, it's already strong, but when you get the right ones stacked, Really fucking good. And then you might get wrecked by Marauder and never get to see him properly. It's got a lot of replayability. 
No, it hasn't. It's boring, says this person that does the same content every single day trying to get an achievement. Or just trying to get a different score. True story. What kind of rewards does NSR5 give? There's a shit ton. So if, again, if you put the, the guide in the chat, I do go briefly in that video over the vendor where you can buy furniture and stuff and bits and pieces, but they've also got a weekly vendor as well. Monster pages and all sorts on there. That changes, so you won't get a full list of that. Oh my god, I missed the fucking infuser. Also, there's seven class sets. So far. Each one is tied to a specific skill line of the class it belongs to. So yes, technically there should be 14 more sets in the future if they follow suit. If they decide they didn't like it, then maybe not. But I don't think they're going to dump that. Leads gear. There's fucking loads of leads. There's also a shit ton of furnishing. Absolutely tons of furnishing. I'll finish the video and stop bugging you. You are busy. I am indeed. It's all good, dude. And it's worth it for the rewards. Worth is subjective. Is it worth it for you? Do you want to go in there and spend time and get the stuff out of it? If so, then yes. Good night, Zion Ninjas. Thank you very much for watching. Bit and cake in the chat for anyone who enters or leaves the stream. People use the word worth because the internet tells them to use it. it doesn't even make sense context-wise when it's being thrown out. Keeks has just dropped 150... I was going to say monies. 1,500. I can't even say words. Someone tell me how much that is. 15,000. 15,000. That's how many bits. I know how much it costs. That's what that was. Thank you very much indeed. Oh my god. I was not ready for that. I can do numbers. You know how to rules people to fight studs again from scratch. If you kill the dragon one, you'll take our place to stream. I have to kill you instead. Keeps you fucking mad. Absolutely mad. 85, 85.5% into the bit skull, people. That is a 1 million bits bit skull, and it is bloody happening. She's also trying to catch Elvin on the... Didn't... I know what you did there. Elvin bastard. He just now... <laughs> he just now prodded the bear, I think. Elvin just now dropped 1,450 on the fucking stream. That's wrong, I can't even... 14,500. I'm fucking tired. 14,500. Ooh, careful, don't be dead. In the chat, on top of Keeks putting 15,000 in there, which means she's not quite dead yet. Elvin, you're fucking mad. You're all mad. That's so loud. I should have turned that down today. Kaoti, thank you very much indeed. Thank you very much. What doesn't kill you? Indeed. That was fucking nuts. Let me take a breath for a second. <clears throat> and I wish uh, enchantment visions increase weapon and spell damage. They do. Um, I mean, worth in for gold or XP anything from the vendor besides skins and mount. Winning. I love winning. Drinks all around. Let me catch up. We've got a new dragonborn. Hold on. You know the rules, people. The fight starts again from scratch. If you kill the Dragonborn, you will take their place to stream. I have to kill you instead. Coyote, Elven PS, and Keeks, you are fucking mad. Thank you very much for the bits. Don't forget there's Ninja Stars near those bits if you've got goals achieved. Thank you very much indeed. Tiny Bear Pope, we've got a new Dragonborn, dude. Uh, hype Chain Level 4, 44% in, 4 minutes remaining. Coyote, thank you very much. Oh my fucking word. Fucking <laughs> That's a really big hit. 15k again from Keeks. What the actual fuck? That other person killed you. She's back again. She's back. Oh my word. What the fuck? 13.5% to go. Not even that, dude. Fucking 12. Nearly 12% left. He took it back. He did take it back. The fucking hype train level 5. 33% in 4 minutes remaining. Thank you very fucking much. I'm going to check the bits goal. Because, uh, not gold. The leaderboard real quick. Before anything else fucking happens. Keeks is now... <laughs> Keeks is now... Kofax is now in fifth. Elvin went up to four. Ooh. I see what you did. Flesh, you're an absolute legend. Thank you very much for the gifted subs. Now up to a whopping 70 on the channel. Five more in the chat. If you received one, refresh your stream. Say thank you to the streamer. You've got emotes. You don't watch adverts anymore. So, uh, how are you feeling now? And are you glad you streamed tonight? I'm glad I fucking streamed. I feel like shit, but I'm glad I streamed. Fucking hell, man. That was nuts. Took it back. How rude. 
<laughs> Keeks is not dead yet. Don't worry. Um, I was answering the other question, wasn't I? Natanaros, how you doing? Welcome to the stream. So the other question was, is it worth it for the rewards? Uh, it was subjective. I explained why. Lady, thank you very much for the raid. Welcome in. This is crazy. We're in a hype train. Pull up a chair. Have a shout out. Uh, I mean, worth it for gold or XP. You get gold and you get XP. Yes. Or anything in the vendor. You do get things in the vendor. Yes. Besides skins and amount. You do get amount. There isn't a skin. There's body markings. There's also a pet. There's loads of other stuff. There's a shit ton. So basically, you've just said, is there anything worth it outside of the stuff that you get for doing things? Yes. All of it. Oh, man. Jay Combo, thank you very much indeed. That's not even how I say your name, is it? JL, thank you very much. Massively appreciated. Welcome to the stream. And thank you for taking the Dragonborn. And Coyote, Fortnite. thank you for the bits. I'm struggling. Man, I wish to achievement. All right. Okay, that's where I was on YouTube uh, question. The uh, enhancement to weapon and spell damage. It does do that. There is a bug on console at the moment where it's not showing, but it does do that. They fixed it on PC. We'll get it fixed on console later. Whoa, we are pushing, people. We are pushing. Come, thank you very much indeed. Massively appreciate Bit and Cake in the chat. You are now up to five gifted subs on the channel. Thank you very, very much. You need to kill the Dragonborn then. If you received a gifted sub, make sure you say thank you to the gifter. And of course, refresh your stream, people. Hype train, level five, 58% in. If you get to level six, you will start the timer again for another five minutes. We are pushing the hype train, people. Thank you very much indeed. Remember to always say thank you to gifters if they gift you a sub. You have emotes. You don't have to watch adverts anymore. I know, I know. No cups of tea for you anymore. But still, they were trying to help you. Bless Cheese Muppet. Thank you very much indeed for the bits. You are a legend and you've contributed to the hype train as well. Shit, that was close. We kill these things. I'm not aiming to kill them, but I mean, they're in the way. He always hides behind the fucking tentacles. Thinking about buying ESO tomorrow. PS5 is it worth it? People keep using the word worth. Um, so, yes, but worth is subjective. It means something. If you are looking for a unique MMORPG that has the ES law intact, yes. <laughs> what the fuck is going on? Kings with 10 more subs. You're fucking mad. Oh, my God. Beer and cake in the chat, people. If you received a gift and sub, you know what the fuck to do. Dragon Ball's dead. Oh my god. Like, just the base edition? Yeah, of course. I mean, here's the thing. You have to start at the beginning. And you start with the base. Now, you can go wherever the fuck you want out of that if you have the other stuff as well. There's no rule as such as to which order you do the story in or what you play but everyone has to start with the base game because you can't play it without it so yes of course that's worth getting because otherwise you're screwed you just have dlcs i know people are, it's, it's very it's i'm not trying to be an asshole but um the internet teaches people to ask questions where they don't really fully understand what they mean if you have time to play another game and you're looking for a specific or for a different mmo that isn't linear like others that has an abundance of choice, then yes, it will be good use of your time. So yes, it will be worth it. But if you're looking for something exactly the same as other games, no. Uh, I believe I got an email that said Necron was on sale. It is. It is indeed. What the fuck? Five more gifted subs from Sammy. Thank you very much indeed. You're now up to 73 on the channel. You're an absolute legend. We do have a new Dragon Ball. I'm going to press the button. Let's go. Hype chain level four was complete. If you don't know how it works, it's really simple. Say thank you to the people that gift you. Oh, man. Excuse me. Break streamer time. Fucking did. Yeah, a little bit. Fucking madness. But, um, again... Worth is subjective. If you don't feel like playing it, then obviously not. But yes, it is a fucking good game. Otherwise, I wouldn't be streaming it and I wouldn't be teaching it for a living. Necrom is on sale. So if you did have that, the big, big version, you'd have all the previous chapters and the base game and the new chapter. And then what you do with that is up to you. They have all the classes with it as well. If you pick the specific one, there's a couple of different versions. One's an upgrade and the other one's a full thing. 
Uh, is it still so that you only need a base game plus subscription for all content? Why would you buy Necron then? Um, you asked the question and then you answered the question, but your answer is actually incorrect. So let me answer the question. So then your answer makes sense. Yes, if you have the base game plus ESO plus, you get all the previous content except for Necron. You always get all DLCs and all chapter access apart from the current year's chapter. So hopefully that made some sense. That is why Necrom is on sale. That is why you would need to buy it in order to get it. But bear in mind, the classes are, at the moment, obviously tied to chapters. So if you did want the Arcanist, you'd have to buy Necrom. Liz Stardust, how you doing? Welcome to the stream. Thank you very much. So to put that into context, so it does make full sense for people that don't know. Every year so far, we've had a chapter, which is a really, really big, what some people call DLC or expansion, but we call them chapters because of a reason. I'll explain that in a moment. Basically, um, when that chapter is in its current year or present before the next one uh, comes out, that's the one you have to buy. Everything else beforehand, you can get with ESO+. Plus. When the next chapter comes around, all previous ones go on to ESO+. Plus. So currently, Necrom is not available on ESO+. Plus. It is just on sale. When the next chapter releases, if they do one, Necrom will shift and go into ESO plus then. Does that make sense? Did I explain that correctly? I mean, I know I meant it correctly, but did the words come out in the right order? No. Liz, again, thank you ma massively for the raid. How are you doing? How was your stream? Have a shout out. Sorry, I was in the middle of doing stuff and things. Now, um, where the fuck else was I going to go with that? There was a side quest I was going to explain afterwards and I've forgotten. My brain stopped. Down the right, made sense. Okay, got it. Awesome. Necron, chapters, etc. Ah, yes, chapters. Why do we call them chapters? So, Matt Fyra will love you very much if you say chapter, not expansion pack. Because it's not an expansion pack. Expansion packs are generally, note the word generally before anyone decides to pick up words they want to hear and not the ones they should. Expansion packs generally, when it comes to MMOs or RPGs, generally are additions to the game further from the end content. So you've done everything, you're max level, you're OP as fuck, now you've got a new challenge. That's what an expansion pack generally is. It's something layered on top of everything else that's already done. A chapter, however, is not for the person that's got everything done and not for the end game player, if you want to call it that, in an MMO, and not for someone that is considered OP and nothing else left to do. A chapter is an addition to the game that anyone from any level can play straight away. So their intention there is to make it accessible. And I just got way too much aggro on me, dude. Venomous arrow, venomous arrow, venomous arrow, blood, grave mauler. I got shit loads. Nothing I can do. Um, what are they called chapters? I literally just explained it. So expansions are normally additional content for harder stuff, extra stuff, whatever. If you've done it all, chapters are accessible to everyone from day one. Adrea, did you just run into the corner to die? I think you did. You might want to grab them because they killed me. <laughs> I'm fucking wrecked. You looked like you were walking backwards into the corner just to die. Did you crash? Oh, there you are. I, you know it would have been quicker for me to res you, right? We need to try to remember what you're going to explain. Okay, brilliant. Um, let's try that again. I'm not going to pull them because you're not in the room yet. Take that back. He went like this, just went into the corner and just died. I thought it crashed walking backwards. They hurt. I've got to go soon, dude. you got to go. Pull stuff. Let's go. Controller? That's what happened. Dude, it looked like you would you would lagged and you died crashing. I was right. See? Picked it up. His controller went. Same thing. We lost a life because his controller made him just walk backwards and died. 7.9 in the base game on Xbox means that if you played it for two years, which could easily happen, you would it would be a penny a day. Thanks, Dad. Thank you very much. Sean is in the chat, people. We had two raids happening at a very hyped moment, people. So if you're not following Lady or Liz already, 
We need shout outs in the chat for those. Don't be dead, right? Imagine losing aggro while your controller dies. That's fucking horrendous. You should follow one of my shorts, Adrea, where I uh, ran across the room and picked up the controller while taunting and block ulti in the boss and then came back with a new one and lived. That should be in my How to Get Good series. That was a fucking moment that was. That was really close. I said don't panic and my controller fucking died. Can you fuck off please? Thank you. Uh, this is much more comfortable when you can talk. <laughs> Imagine the one life we lose is not actually because of a skill issue, but because the fucking control dies. Duck eggs. I disagree. Laggy as fuck there. These Ascent of Vanguards are actually quite chunky. Big, big resistances. The Symphony of Blades boss, right? With the controller that I had to run to get a new one. Correct. Yes. Your gifts from you watch us get an extra life, Adrea. That'd be great. And I can't see the fucking verses because it's bugged out. Uh, Mighty Bash. 100%. Sorry, for those of you that don't know, this is not just tied to bashes. Yes, you will stun stuff if you bash them. Yes, they will blow up if they are interrupted. Including the interrupt from your question shock. The bash is the stun, the interrupt isn't. But the interrupt will still make an explosion no matter which source it comes from. Deep breath, question shock, anything. You so legend, how you feeling, bro? I hope you're well. Jimmy, how you doing? Welcome to the stream. Dude, I feel like crap today. I took some meds before the stream. They are now starting to wear off. Drinks all around. But uh, it's, it's been a day, dude. It's been a day. Thank you for the follow, much appreciated. Whee! I'm making the most of it. Also, I remember watching the short. Yeah, some people were here, were there. Some people in the chat were there when it happened. But I had to upload that because that was, that was fucking funny. I still haven't got focused efforts yet. What would have had it by now? Apparently not. Oi, you don't step in the shit. That would be dumb. Big boy at the back. Whoa, spinner juice. I got you covered, dude. Don't worry. Don't worry. Don't panic. Spinner juice, you must never stand in. Oh, shit. Missed the interrupt. Oi, I got it. Woohoo! <laughs> Big explosion there. See that? It was mega. Dude, I got an ninja pee really bad. I'll be back in a second. Oh, shit. Is it the battle? Ah, well, there's always the next one. Okay, I'm back. Right, let's go. Oh shit, there's a book over there. Wait, 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 wait. Orbs are so OP. Yeah, they are. Uh, I'm a loser with no friends, but Endless Archive is fun for the first couple of arcs. Okay. 
Good job there's AI companions. Tremor Scout, really? Good job I didn't use my extra consumable. By the way, if you get like to arc six or seven, he actually slaps. Chair stream. Yes, obviously link chair in the chat if you want to get one of these. Got my logo on the back. No, you can't get one with my logo on the back, but you can design your own. Are they worth it? 152,000%. Yes, they are. I've had fucking back issues for many, many years, which has been repaired. But had back issues for years, and I sit in this chair for way too many hours. If it wasn't for the chair, I'd be even more fucked. Back. Group Finder? Yep, Group Finder now exists. So many fucking people don't know about it. There is a Group Finder. Activity Finder, and I don't mean Dungeon Finder that we all know about. That's got random shit canoes in it. Group Finder. You can make your own group for any content in the game and advertise it without shouting in local chat. It just goes there. People can search it and join. Loads of different features in there that you can kind of mess with. How fun. I need to sneeze. Hold on. No, 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 no. Sneeze on stream. I can do it. Defeated the sneeze boss. Also, still no focused efforts. I had it three times earlier. I had it stacked three times while I was off stream. Go figure. Denied. Oh, you fucked up. I don't want to jinx this, but uh, I don't think we've seen a Marauder this round. So where'd you? There you are. And his mate? I'm not standing in that. Dotted to shit. Swift go out. Done. Now if we get... I don't know. Waterboy will do. If we get him. That'll be good. We've got Swift go out. Easy peasy. I love getting this one. Takes fuck all time. The goat one you have to run around in bloody circles. The eyeball one is just fucking aids. I mean, the idea is there, it's fun, but I mean, it's also bullshit where the zombies just gang up on you. You know, just having a bad day and having to change all your sets out every time. I think if they fix that on console, which obviously they will do inevitably, um, it wouldn't be so much of a chore. Dude, I fucking dropped one. I got him, I got him. Use. The Dre crashed. You looking at the wall? He didn't even move. This is not good, is it? Did we start with five lives? Yes. Because you have the fourth life, and so do I, and they stack. Oh, we've got insanguinate and fucking winds. Anything that comes anywhere near us is dead. But this particular build in Sanguinate is fucking insane. Absolutely insane. Dead. Dead. Oh, 
Oh, what a load of buffs. And that is the difference. Every round can be completely different. It could be a clusterfuck of defensive stuff or useless utility stuff or just crazy deep stuff. Wow. Big boy. Dead. <laughs> Good night. We need that on a boss. Combo's insane. The thing, dude. I see you're proving your worth. Glad to see other entities. Dre has forgotten what you're supposed to do. Here. Uh, rebirth will do just in case. I'm foolery. I do not need that on a Nightblade. I'll take it. Oh, really? This boss is actually a uh, combination of bosses. That's the point. Someone said the other day about um, Banished Cells with Rillis being a combo of bosses and then Selene being a combo of bosses. This dude is as well. So he's from Sp uh, Spindle 2. But he's also got the mechanics of the ad in uh, VKA. He's got the, the nut punches on the ground. That loot goblin had a lot of health. Just saying. Hello. Walkies. Love it when it pops at the end and you still got ulti. So you can jump into the next round with loads Master of it. Next. Oh my god, I thought it was focused efforts. It looks very similar. I'm going to get a bonus from direct damage. Great. But it's a small bonus. It's basically half a CP node. Um, and it's not what I want. I want multiple stacks of focused effort. And then we can really see some showing off. I mean, it's not only what you need. Loads of stuff can stack up, but that's what I'm aiming for. It's nice to have an aim. Do to the back. Oh, you shitbag. It's not the best place for a negate bubble, is it? I can move the high aisle fishing. What are you going for? I fucking hate negate bubbles. My fishing RNG sucks, that's why I don't do it. It's when someone tells me about fish food and doing it in a group and also uh, the champion point known about it. I'm aware of all that stuff. While those are all being taken advantage of, my RNG still sucks. That was the point. It's almost like I've been here before. <laughs> Get an angular achievement for the chaps and DLCs. Okay, fair enough. So you're doing it for fun. Yeah, fuck that. I did not see him at the back. My bad. Fucking in rage. Had to run early with the most useless vision and versus bad RNG with the bosses, so I feel your pain. Yeah, I've, I've had hit and miss with this uh, today, to be fair. I had one run where it was really, really good, and all I was doing is um, doing my daily. I was like, well, I'll get my daily out of the way, I'll just go in, focus effort three times before arc fucking uh, one was finished. Like, what the fuck? Then I had to stop anyway. Also, where was the mass fillet and thing? The, the, I did master angler. It's amazing. Oh, that's new. I mean, not that new, but it's new. 
You used to do it one at a time, didn't you? Yeah, I used to leave them in the bag. Fuck that. I used to actually just sell the fish. Because someone else can fucking do it. Love the fire orb. Oh my god. Get down. Hip. Move him. The one in the middle. If you chain him, it moves him off his spot, counts as a stun, and it stops him. You can't interrupt that fire circle, but you can move him. You were there for mass deconstruction, weren't you? Because that was before the armory. Did you know, Christina, that there's a, a deconstruction merchant? I'm assuming you do. Maybe not. Like a, like a minion that you can buy. The dude at the back is healing the crap out of stuff. No, you don't. Oh, and it's a fireball. Never mind. There was a heal come from somewhere. My brain told me wrong, though. Drag picker on sale. Drag picker's brilliant. There are like three chaos so fish one day back in Somerset event for the Grand Sigic Villa. That was mega. Uh, wait a minute, I need to buy some more things. I ran out of stuff. I use so much of these. So here's a tip. You got defensive, you got offensive, and you've got utility. Okay? You can only use one per cycle. If you don't know what a cycle is, I'll explain. There are two add rounds and a boss round. So three rounds. That is a cycle. You can use one consumable of your choice in one of those three rounds within the cycle. So the trick is hold on to them. If a Marauder spawns, pick one. You may as well use it. If a Marauder doesn't spawn in that cycle, save it until the boss and then use it on the boss. So I, they're going to use it on the boss. Generally speaking, I would normally go for a defensive one for the Marauder and I'll go for an offensive one on the boss because most of the bosses, you're probably familiar with the mechanics. Most of the Marauder, Marauders will probably just delete your fucking day. And I've dropped my tissue somewhere. Found it. And now we're going to kill a boss and get a mega vision. Oh my god. He's fucked. Oh, fire orb. You got the winds, dude. What the shit? Come here. You little fucker. He's going through the boss the whole time. The boss doesn't know what the fuck to do. Of course. Of course he's immune. Why would he not be immune? That was pretty cool. If you better about these mystery verses because I forget I have them. I spend a shit ton on them and you will always end up having more currency, more money, more archival, whatever the fuck it calls. Um, than you will spend. I will buy 20, go through 20 rounds, and I'll still have more money left. This, by the way, is fucking insane. I now have this stack three times. 112% increase to pen. So, without any buffs and bonuses from the group, or debuffs or whatever, I'm sitting on... 16.8. That'll do. Bear in mind, I'm standing behind the targets even more. Get these big ones down. How the fuck did he heal? No. We're just riddled with damage shields. Whoa, big pop. I think that was yours.
I've seen him. Oh shit. Ah, oh, come on, I had you. Apparently not. You don't. Come on, take care, Zion chat. See you later, dude. Thank you for watching. Bit and cake in the chat for anyone who enters or leaves the stream. <clears throat> Come on. Bloody well. thing. Beat down. That'll work. Heavy attack. No resistance is left. So I just got a pen bonus. And now we don't need it. For the next round, anyway. Oh, shit. So, in here, you don't have any buffs and bonuses. I mean, you have the ones that come with your character, but you don't have any from in here. As you can see, we've got those, but they don't apply. This is very raw, this fight. Completely missed. These things are bloody horrible. Fucking interrupted, I disagree. Ah, oh, I didn't even come out. Might need those tablets again. All this for a verse. By the way, don't panic if you fail on this one. You can't actually die. It would just be like if you failed the, the wisps or the eyeballs or whatever. It's just a secret. That's pro I am. You already asked me that. You've been in the whole time? I'll let Mikey explain what I'm doing. Whee! Have to run Vmo. Got to refresh on all the mechanics. Have a great day. Bless Cheese Muffin. Thank you for watching. Bit and cake in the chat. These killing things. I am. You're getting a video. This is a, a different alteration of it. I was just a VSO back in the day. The Templar shards stunned enemies. Needed to say, it got stale for me. Why did you look it up then if you don't play it anymore? Oh, is this stale? Get ready for this. Ah, that was worth it. I'm not going to wreck a room. We don't need a tank. Adrea, take a break. Oh, yes. Dre's running around like, what the fuck do I do? Not a lot, mate. You're, you're good. Four hundred odd fucking K. This is bonkers. <laughs> <laughs> fucking stupid. That was a. That was a. Infuser or flame shaper or something is dead. Splat. I don't give a fuck. That's never getting boring. Do you do the thing? Do the thing? Do the thing? Or I'm gonna die. Hey, we've got exsanguinate for the boss as well. What the shit? That was an infuser. That was. This is true. He's dead now. 
What have I got? Guardian of Pestilence and Insanguinate. Exsanguinate is fucking mad. On this. On other builds, you might not have enough direct to get a fire in, but... Aw, oh, shit. We've fucking faced the other one already. Loot Goblin. I'm going to have to f fight the Loot Goblin, I'm afraid. He's dead. Fucking great. Ah! Oh, ha, ha. oh, she's gone up in the air. Why would she not go up in the air? When she comes back down, she's gonna get deleted. Ooh, loot goblin. This was your first love as an MMO. I tried getting back into it several times. Oh my god! I gotta pay attention. <coughs> Dead. Um, still fun to watch. Maybe I'll give it another go. Dude, you should. How long ago did you stop playing? By the way, I'm reading two chats. If that's confusing, I'm on Twitch and YouTube at the same time. That hurt. Right, she's got 1.5 million health. Watch this. When I can stop getting hit in the face. Oh, God. 1.5 500 Dead <laughs> Get out of it, Ryan. Um, no, I read that Still bullshit Error effect damage I've got one error effect skill, that's useless uh, I mean, it does stack with other bonuses if you get a good vision or verse or whatever, but still uh, Crit healing can't crit um, fuck it. Got a useless one. I'm getting shit visions. Shit ones. The game hates me. I'm gonna tell its mum. Stop playing religiously after Morrowind. Poke back every now and then. Religiously? How do you religiously stop? You mean you stop playing religiously? Oh shit! So, if you stop playing in Morrowind... You have missed six years almost, maybe five years of content and adjustments. It is fucking insane now. Very, very different game. It was good then, but it has, it has grown. Especially since we have four updates every year. I'm in trouble, dude. I'm in deep shit. Oh, fuck me. No heal. I'm dead. I did try to fire a heal, but it didn't work out. You might be in trouble there, Jay. Don't rush yourself to do a res, otherwise you'll just end up dead. Just get it safe first. If you can slow burn him, fucking burn him. I don't care. What's your build videos, though? Vintage or a legend. Thank you very much. I'll wait for the crystals to get out of the way, then I'll get up. I tried to fire off my spectral bow, it didn't fire. It was your online blade using one of your builds on the website. Which one needs to do something like Wimpy Stand Blade? Uh, technically speaking, this is Status Pro, but this is a variant of it for Endless Archive. It does go into Endless Archive perfectly fine, but I am showing a slight spoiler to something a bit more specific. If you put status in the chat, the build is there. Come on, crystals. Fuck off. Ah, there we go. Um, this could be risky. Up. Move him to somewhere safe, dude. Then we'll kill him in the corner. That'll work. <laughs> Why did it double light attack? What the fuck? I'm holding the button and it did a double light attack. Good job. Go me. Oh, hey, that was close. Nice. Good job, Adrea. Sting is a stand blade. Yep, that still exists. There's several different night blades on the channel. Oh, shit. Hilarious. I say put status in the chat and Matt puts everything but... Thank you kindly, no worries. 
You got it. Die, please. Oh, shit. Big round. Big boy! Oh, I'm big one over here as well. I got him, I got him. I got some minions on me, though. Thank you. Fuck is that? Please don't be an infuser. Nope, spell fee. Worse. Well, not worse, but hits harder. Infuser enrages the whole room, which is very, very dangerous. They are the most dangerous ones because they make all the strong ones even more stronger. At but, um... The spell thieves, the actual damage they, they put out, ruin your day. They out of their stupid, don't even dodge roll through it. You can't because you take full damage along the way. For his side, we can't be dead, right? Uh, tomfoolery or stuff. Let's have that so you can drop more banners. Why the fuck not? You don't have to put the link twice. You can use the same link as somebody else put in there. They're not uh, a one per person thing. We need to get up the stairs, dude, because if we get stuck here, we're fucked. You need a space here. If you get if you get stuck here, people, it's really tricky because you end up line of sight in them over the staircase or the banisters, and they can still hit you while you're trying to hit them, and it gets really messy really quick. You have to watch when you have elevated levels, and especially when you've got um, Thoat's mechanics in here as well, because you can get too many crystals on the stairs and get stuck in them, and you're again you're fucked. Oof, big pop. Like those crystals. Remember when I said don't be on the stairs? That's why. I'm not the tank. I don't put them there. I just hit them. That's not good. Like I said, staircase is bad. The drafts did a good set to run it in vet content trial. The content has nothing to do with the set. You can run it where you want. You can run any set wherever you want. Unless it says player on it, because you might have to kill a player. If it's for killing players, no. But if it's not, you can use anything anywhere. I know that one isn't as crafted as set. It's got an 8% crit bonus on it. Nice. But you can use it wherever you want. If someone's trying to tell you you can't use it because of the content type, they're an idiot and they're lying to you. <gasps> Let's go! We got Throw Out Replicanum and I'm a fucking Beowulf. And that's. Does that count? Because a werewolf is world stuff. Look at this shit. I bet it doesn't. Ulti does 239, 31k. Flame damage and shit. We're just going to go in and hit stuff. Let's go. Sorry, Adrea. This is going to be quick. Well, as long as I keep my heal up, it's going to be quick. Look at my weapon damage. Weapon is damage 14k. That's actually going to go up to 15. Um, rip. Two heavy attacks. Three heavy attacks. Ah, oh, that's a lot of orbs. We're in trouble. <laughs> Not even phased. No, you're not running away. You get dead. Are oh, you fucker? See that wicked dodge roll in wolf mode? Where the fuck are you? Aha! Dragon's not even ready yet. This is going to be tricky because I can't get in there. Is he coming down? 
down or what? What the fuck are you doing? Can't hit him. Yes, I can. I'm gonna die. That was close. I cannot stand in that shit. Even as a werewolf. Ooh, I'm gonna risk it. Fuck it. Oh, two. Yes. I uh, went to VMA hard mode and solo sort of tank on laser tank in a group. So impressive. Three of them gave me all their gold jewelry. The best tank ever. So I was giving them that. And he didn't even know. Fucking no shit, dude. Fucking brilliant. I'm gonna press the button for that, actually. Another pen bonus. Is it really necessary? Holy shit. I'm gonna. I want focused efforts four times. I've got pen four times. I've got 150% extra pen. I'm sitting on night. Where's it gone? Oh, that's gonna alter through time. That had 19k on it then. Why did it show. Ah, I see. I've gotta be behind the fucking target. Ah, there we go. 19.7. The fuck that was. Let's go. That's stupid. On its own, it's 12, but it's 19.7 and one behind the target because it multiplies the fucking um, statue have when they're all in, all in place. So behind this dude, I hit like a truck. And he moved. Rip. I still haven't got focused effort. Do not step in that shit. I love winning. Thank you for the follow. He's getting a lot bigger now, though. I've got like... 70k health each, maybe? Something like that. Five hundred. They get bigger. Love that ground fire, it's so bloody powerful. Bulwark, he's gotta go. Oh shit, fucker. Of course, the fucking dude's got in the way. Who was that with bits? Smooch, you're a legend. Thank you very much indeed. Massively appreciate bit and cake in the chat, people. I got it, dude. Don't worry. Making it worth your effort? You're a legend. Was that a focus effort joke? Because I can't get the fucking thing. Oh, look, it's Jeff. Did you see how fucking Chumba got in the way? Charging at me. The bloody Ogrim is just charging at me while I'm trying to hit the, the Bulwark. While Adrea's tank in the world. You did, you laughed. There's nothing I can do. I couldn't hit the fucker. Just crossed over in my eyesight. Bastard. Head on defense of Mighty Bash. Mighty Bash all day. Oh, nearly. That's good, then. Let's go. Oh, you didn't do the thing. The thing. The thing. <clears throat> Too late. Adrea's doing something. This is Jeff is. I'm not going to read that. <laughs> I think I'm supposed to be angry. I got you. I know the reference. I wonder where that was going for a second. Trying the comments in short as I can't hit the broadside of the barn. Okay, fair. Love that. Love to see them do it. I wonder if their channel's really, really cool. <laughs> you gotta wonder what people do when they get. Out. Don't actually. Don't wonder what they do when they get out of bed. We don't want to know. Don't stand in stupid. That that also helps. It does. There's a video about that as well. Literally called cool. Don't Stand in Stupid. There's a couple of people who are like, oh, well, that's not very fucking helpful, is it? Well, first of all, lower your fucking tone, shit, Rick. 
And secondly, um, it is helpful. The video is to teach you the differences about the different types of AoEs. Positive, negative, stuck to you, not stuck to you, the lot. So while it has a funny title, um, it's actually a tutorial and guide for those that don't know. So there. Uh, they'll have two videos, 15 minute live streams, then playing Roblox and rage quitting because nobody shows up. Yeah, or they'll try and be a Fortnite streamer and just suck at the game really badly because they get beaten by four year olds. By the way, there's some really good ones. As if you've got the wins again, dude. Are we done? We are. I should have got shield. I know I should have got shield. They gave me those two choices on purpose. Get ready. There's a fun. I last played about a year ago. 1,000 CP. Would have been able to run this on whatever sets is working back then. Yeah, of course you can. There's billions of possibilities. Stuff you're running back then might be great. As long as you like it and it works for you, go nuts. Obviously, you might want to check some of the patch notes just in case anything you've done or uh, used changed. But, I mean, go in, hit stuff. If it works, great. If it doesn't, adapt. But you can come in here at any level. You don't even need to have any champion points. You can come in at level fucking two. Well, technically three when you get out of the tutorial. The difficulty level is not set to normal or vet. The difficulty level is set to the further you go, the more difficult it gets. That's it. So it starts off relatively well pa well paced. If you are somewhat experienced, you might struggle if you're not. <clears throat> but then after the first arc, it gets really, really difficult. By comparison, at least. But hey, seeing you get this is from the um, mega people. Yeah, I don't give a fuck about them. Bollocks to him, Brandon. Um, at the end of the day, it's just, it's just noise. Martial damage over time effects are increased duration wise. I don't need that. Reduction to damage, sure, why not? Haven't played in about two years, now I'm getting back into it. I saw that it hasn't been an update for the Easy Sork video in a while. Is the Lazy Sork stronger or am I mainly for people who struggle with the Easy Sork? You half answered your own question there. So the end part of your question um, is the reason. The Lazy Sork is for people who struggle with the Easy Sork. Easy Sork is still fine. The most recent update for it is still okay. That will be on the website, actually. It's on YouTube anyway, but the website will state at the top which patch is up to date with as far as the written guide is concerned. So if anything does need to change, it'll be there. Woo, shit. As if you've got fire orb while I'm sitting here light attacking this noob in the back. Don't fuck. Lucky bastard. It's actually really nice when your tank is stacking everything and they get fire aura. Also, thank you. No worries, you're welcome. Whee! It's not like you tell people what works, but you tell them to do whatever they like. You don't say this is the only way. It's because it's not the only way. Also, thank you, Brendan. If I told you it's the only way to play, I'd be lying. And guess what? Smart people pick up on that. So, double shit. No point. You get nothing out of it. People might get five seconds worth of fame on their YouTube channel with three followers if they talk shit, get a couple clicks. But it's not going to be able to be something that they can scale long term. I want to give people correct information. People can get stuff wrong, of course, but bullshitting is a waste of time. It's a waste of everyone's time. Was best when there are countless billion possibilities, nobody knows. So, for want of a better term, there isn't one. Use what works for you. Try out what you want to try out. You might find something you like, you might find something you hate. At least you get results. Whee! Oh, -ho! we're going again, people. We're going again. I got shit perks and I keep getting a werewolf now. We've had no. Um, focused efforts at all. Not one stack of it. But we've had Juffy three times. Sorry, Adrea. Your service is no longer required. 
Peace! You lot are all dead. Bring him in. Big ulti. Big ulti. What the hell was that fucking 70k synergy? That's stupid. Run, 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 run. Big heavy. Oh, I didn't crit. When they crit, you're like 400, 500 fucking K. It's ridiculous. Oh, you got the minion over there. I didn't see him. Sorry. Right. Ah, woo. Three times. Yep. I think we should be on the run here. Time wise? No fucking idea. Long enough. I went two hours over my stream time not long ago. My food ran out halfway through as well. Let's go. Boss round and a secret. Oh, fuck this. One. Don't go near them. It fucks them all up. One, two. That one. That one. Oh no, it's that one, isn't it? Okay. Oh, it's the middle one first. Go way left, dude. Way left, way left, way left. Where are you going? That's not left, that's your right. Oh my god. Why? Why? Oh dear. Next! Don't hesitate to return to the index if you need to resupply. Nobody ever gets that. It's always left. I got a loot goblin, so I'm afraid I'm gonna have to kill him first. We're not missing a loot goblin, fuck that. He's dead, don't worry. No your other left? Yeah, yeah. The left there isn't left. Nope. Fucking hit it then. That was staggering like hell. That wasn't meant to be a pun because it's a stag, but it was stuttering all over the room. Don't look left. I, I guess. I guess that works. I've had nothing but success with your bills. I can. I can bite it, Zai. <laughs> it's a ledge. Thank you very much. James Bond. Long time to see. Thank you very much for the resub. Massively appreciate, of course. Bit and cake in the chat. What an absolute legend you are. How you doing, dude? Um, critical chance of magical attacks. Yes, whatever. Does it actually show in your stats? No, it doesn't. It just applies to the skills. Okay. Oh, you've got a Marauder in the room. Windy bollocks. I'll get rid of a couple of these so you don't got too many to deal with. Oh man, the gate bubble fucker's gotta go. Fight him up here for a bit, dude. While these die, and we'll go through the waves. If you can survive, we'll kill all the waves and just take him to a clean corner. Because those ads you don't want to fucking deal with. Next wave is up. I'll get rid of him. You went flying, dude. What the fuck? Dumbles. Keep hots on him and shit. Not hots. Dots on him. Hots? Hots is heals. That one can go down. I'll leave a couple of them. Fuck, they got a lot of health. Don't worry, I can take this one. Don't worry. Or not. 
We don't want to spawn the next wave, so we'll just pace it here. My fucking charges ran out. Are you serious? Put him to the back of the room. Or not. Nailed it, dude. Absolutely nailed it. Nice. I'm pressing that. Fucker has to die. What does this do? Because he heals the room. That lag, though. What the fuck? We could have used a special uh, verse then, but we didn't. I didn't even use it. I forgot. Well, if we've done, stress over. Those fuckers, if you are not familiar with these uh, enemies, by the way, the archers are kind of a priority because they bleed like hell. Yes, you can damage shield against them, though. Good here, I'm staying full. I'm staying full from Turkey Day. Nice. I need to charge my weapon. You perform marvelously. Claim your reward and travel to the next batch of vile Every enemies. bit of that shit. I don't use any assault skills. That I'm not really too fussed about. Fuck it, I'll take a shield. I mean, a shield's not a bad thing, but it's not what I wanted. Oh. Been quite lucky with the Marauders so far, to be fair. We've only had fucking with four arms once. I need to stay closer so you can get the fire on the ground. I also need bloody focused efforts so we can start getting some more deeps. Whoops. Oh, I didn't see him. My bad. Big shield. This could be a very raw round as well. No damage bonuses. Just shields. I hate that laser. The snare from it is horrendous. Always put it in the fire, dude. If you can deliberately manipulate... There you go. You got it. Deliberately manipulate them to put them in the fire. They just melt. Sunny is surprisingly are one of the least dangerous ones. Not because they don't do a lot of damage, because they do. They do a lot of damage, but they don't tend to do crazy shit to you individually. They just kind of sit there spamming loads of crap that you can see from long range and kind of wiggle in and out of. They do take up a lot of space when it comes to their AoEs, but they're not as kind of one-shotty as the spell thieves, and they don't enrage the whole room like the fucking infusers do, or ruin your day like a flame shaper does. They are horrible, but they're easier to avoid. That was a long fucking round, dude. 
Uh, class embodiment. Could have done with that there. Second buff as well. They give me. Ah. The rat again. I mean, it's actually pretty good, but it's not what I was after. Did you get a book? I didn't get a book. I should have counted for both of us. No, there's nothing up there. <gasps> Andreas fucking Jaffe! Let's go! Yes! Too bad they don't do what they do in Vimo. Uh, Adrea, square is torn. Synergy! He's heavy attack, the fucker. He's toast. He's going fucking nuts on him. He's got an immunity shield on him. There's nothing he can do. Oh, there he goes. <laughs> fucking mad. Absolutely mad. The goblin. Master for him. Too bad I don't do what they do in VMO. You mean the, the, the gate bubbles? Dude, we've got enough of those in here. Sometimes you get, excuse me, sometimes you get spawns where there's two or three negate bubbles at once. More recovery is good. I do kind of need that. Um, damage over time effect duration is increased. Don't need that. I've got that twice already. Or once even. Damage shield effectiveness. Man, whatever. Again, no focused efforts. I'm not getting it. I'm not getting any major damage bonuses from my visions. Go Juffy. We need to tag team it. We need two Juffies. That will be insane. So for people that don't understand the werewolf buttons, I mean, it's in the video to some extent anyway, um, in the Stone Garden video. But what you need to understand is that square or one is a taunt and five or R1 is your heal. Now you don't activate it as a heal that needs to be pressed over and over and over. You press it once and you have a buff. Then when you do damage, specifically your heavy attacks, but then a couple others as well, you will heal massively. So if you do a big, he big heavy attack, do like a 100k heal. So just activate it and then just go in swinging. Now, when it turns into ice, you obviously want to activate it so you freeze everything. And then when it resets again, you can press it again. Maintain it. Just like you'd maintain rally. Oh, you fuck it. So basically, use your skills. Just spam them because they're fucking... But press number five or R1 and then just heavy attack your ass off. When it turns to ice, use it again. When it turns to heal, do it again. And then just go back to heavy attack. And support. Oh, bulwark in the room. That's not good. Missed him. Melted. Fucking arches. Gonna go. See John Shadow. Thank you for watching. Bit and cake in the chat for anyone who enters or leaves the stream. This is a tricky room with all this fucking crystal shit around. Fucking hell. That was bonkers. Uh, crap. Taking it. World skill increase. Don't need that. I don't have any world skills. Got no extra bonuses to damage in this one, but we have got an extra life if we die. And I don't mean extra life, but just you don't actually die. Like the old old school Phoenix. Oh, you fucking prick. There's my emergency heal. Yes, I do a dodge roll while I'm doing it, because then I can't get hit on the way down. 
Dude, they're fuckers. I hate the gate bubbles. I hit the synergy and nothing happened. Whatever. Careful with ramps and stairs in case we get stuck in the crystals. We need an open space. They try to put you in really awkward places so that you've got nowhere to go. Didn't you work that time? Time to go poke around Zai's side to see if he's got a one bar warden. I do actually. Have you put uh, Polar Express or just Polar in the chat or Quiver? Quiver is a bow build, one bar. And Pirate Express is a Santa. Where the fuck are the enemies? Oh shit, my bad. You just found it? There's two one bar warden builds. Quiver's fucking insane. But well, they're both, they're both actually really good, but... Quiver was hilarious because people were like, Oh, you can't play one bar unless you use X, Y, and Z sets plus light and stuff. Bollocks, you're wrong. The bow bill. It hits like a fucking truck. Really simple to use. Really good self-sustainability. Really good consistent damage upkeep as well because you, you don't like go up and down and dip here and there. It's just pretty consistent throughout. Survival's good too because you've got so much fucking speed. And heals, obviously. Remember Quiver because I was watching a video last night. You remembered it all the way from last night. Nice. I remember what the fuck I did last night. We've got Juffy again. Shit. And we've got another fucking secret. Tell me you got it as well. <gasps> we got double Juffy. What the fuck? We got double, double, double. Oh my God. <sighs> dear, oh dear. I'm going to calm the fuck down. We're going to find these wisps. That one bugged. Come here, come here, come here. All the fleas? No, you don't think? No, not fleas. That's not what we think of first off when we see two Juffies. You think, oh fuck, everything's dead. This is going to be absolutely mental. Where the hell is the other one? Got them all? I guess you do. This is mad. Two Juffies at once. I'm a little bit excited. Class embodiment. Uh, I'm not using any class skills. I'm a werewolf. I love with these. Drinks all around. These are all shit. We'll take it anyway, because the passives might kick in. And I'm going to use that one. I feel like I chipped out the last run. You're having too much fun as Juffy. Oh, I keep it assault. Boo! Let's go! The buzzer was going to join us for a party. He didn't turn up. Oh my god! Dude, that was insane! Giant Jeff transformation. Dude, nothing. Nothing he could do. Absolutely nothing. We had a boss there. It got deleted. Next. Oh, damn it. Stand reserves, block cost reduction, and martial damage over time effects increased by 6% best attack. But that is... That's the length of them. I don't need the duration increased. Fuck it. Clip that post. Do it, do it. Double Juffy. I still can't get focused efforts. Focused efforts is a massive DPS buff to this particular setup. And I can't get it. I've got four stacks of pen though. Maureen, thank you for watching. Bit and cake in the chat for anyone who enters or leaves the stream. If you're on YouTube, by the way, if you have a membership, you have emotes. Use and abuse them. You also, by the way, can use those in the comment section. On any video. Don't stand in the stuff, dude. Andrea is still excited as fuck. He's still in spinner juice. 
Two Juffies. It was so fun. That was brilliant. It's when you're frantically trying to press all the buttons just so you don't miss any skills. Not because it'll affect your GPS, but because it's going to die too quick and you want to press all the fun stuff. Good stack, dude. Well done. Nice and easy. Bring them in the fire. They will hate that muchly. Look at them melt. We want double Juffy on Thurat Replicanum. Or on a Marauder. Like, fucking McForearm spawns into the room and we have two Juffies. That would be mental. Excuse my sniffles. Shit's wearing off. Adrea has figured out the system. He knows where they're going to spawn. There you go. You've got it. They're not always the same enemies. Each round can have several different crazy ones and little shitty ones all in the same spawn. They can be very, very different. But each area does have a bit of a system as to where they uh, spawn, at least. However, apart from immobilization, you can't actually damage anything. You can pin it, but you can't damage anything when it comes into the room because it's immune for a couple seconds before it starts. That laser, though. What the fuck? What do you want? Coming into the fire? Walkies. MGM! What a legend. Good evening, guys. How you doing? Welcome to the stream. Thank you very much indeed for the resub. Massively appreciate a bit of cake in the chat. What do you think about Warden that will use Ice Furnace set, Nanotechnic Ice Monster set, Maelstrom Ice Pale Order, and Fast Round and Back and Susceptibility? I think that that is something that you should find out for yourself. <laughs> that is just gear. So, cool gear, mashed together. Try it out. You might like it. But just bear in mind, well, I'm not trying to be awkward. Um, Gear is part of a build. It doesn't mean it's all of it. You have to add stuff to it. Your skills, your passives, your rotation, your other bits and pieces that all go together as well as the set. Are all of those things individually fun? Yes. Will they work together? Try it out. There's no, there's nothing wrong, no fear to be um, felt when trying things out. The worst you could do is fail. You might like it. There are too many possibilities in the game for me to just look at stuff and go, yeah, that's great. There might be other stuff missing. There might be other stuff you can add. But at least you've got a starting point. If in doubt, try it out. That's the only way to get results. Now, when it comes to build advice, I mean, I can do that, but not on stream. Because on stream, there's too many things to go over. It's impossible to scale that for everyone watching uh, if everyone wants the same treatment. But on Patreon, there's two ways to do that. One is extremely expensive. That's where you get your own build video. But the other, if you just have questions and stuff, or you just want to hang out with the streamer, you get a whole hour of my time with a one-to-one. -one. On stream, I can do quick fire stuff, but that that's too that's too broad. That's just the sets, let alone the rest of it. There's so much more to consider. The short answer is, however, again, like I already said, if in doubt, try it out. Sounds like you've got a good plan already. You're going with lots of ice, and you want to heal. Good start. Uh, what's going to the circle slot? Uh, that is Grim Focus. Well, Mercer's resolves, strictly speaking, but I'm leaving it stacked for emergencies. So I'm getting 300 weapon and spell damage out of it the whole time while it's there glowing. Because you get five stacks of light attacks or two heavies and a light or three lights and one heavy. To get it ready. If you leave it, you keep the stacks. If you use it, you lose it. Right, like this. Big heal. 32k. I save that for emergencies. Generally speaking, if I was in uh, dungeons, trials, arenas, whatever, I would not necessarily save it. I'd be using it in my rotation. But in here, you don't really have one because you're killing stuff really, really fast. So it's one target to the next, to the next, to the next. Save it for emergencies. In a general sense, what do you think of the class sets in EA? That's really broad. You want me to talk about it for the next 20 minutes? It's a cool concept to add to the game where they never had something dedicated to classes. There you go. 
go. Oh shit, hang on. Cold Blast, bollocks. Okay, we don't have a lot of help when it comes to uh, damage stuff this time. Five minutes or less. I am not dedicating five minutes to one question. That is too much to ask. If I gave every single person on my YouTube channel one minute, it would take me 50 days to do it. I quick fire stuff if I can. And if there isn't an absolute answer, you won't get one. <laughs> Dragon Bite like that one. <laughs> Wee, steady. Look at him puss hiding behind the fucking tentacles. No point me even spamming. I can't get to the fucking. There we go. That's better. Nope. Fucking laser. Is it that fucking thing is still alive? Should be bleeding. Wanna buy a crit? Thank you. Got my answer there. Trash press up to us to use. Correct. Reminds me, uh, Grim Focus supposed to drop off in Cyrodiil. You're not hitting Grim Focus, or is it a bug? Um, it should be active while you're in combat. So it won't be falling off mid-fight. It will fall off eventually after you're out of combat. That's to prevent pre-buffing. Technically speaking, the uh, ability is with you the whole time. Like, the, the passives that come from it. Regardless of which buy you're on, because they change that shit. No. Fucking hell, this is risky. I hope you got some heals, Dre, because I'm hurting! Woo! Mm -mm -mm -mm. 4.5 million health, and we got no major damage buffs this time. I'm gonna go around in a circle and avoid this shit. No, I'm not. Missed it completely. Fuck you! Can't even hit it. I am miles away, you lying fucker! I did not press execute then, what the fuck? Not even got my finger on the button. That was close. Hit it then. Oh, fucking hell. Nowhere to fucking stand there. Okay, I'm supposed to drop out of combat in Cyrodiil, it's not uh, uh, good to know. Yeah, it, it will last um, a set amount of time, but once you're out of combat for a period of time, it will it will stop the stacks. Because otherwise, you could just pre-buff it and then just run up to people for one-shots all the time. Uh, increase the critical damage of martial attacks. That is going to work towards poison status and also to bleed. That would work. But it's not what I want. It's not focused efforts, is it? That would have died really fast with focused efforts. There's a vision, by the way, that you keep throughout the entire run. And we've been unlucky enough to not even have it once yet. I mean, I wanted it to be a bit of a, a fun spoiler for you to see what it actually does on the build. But we have... Oh my god, why don't I look at the fucking screen? Dude, I looked left for a second. The spell fucker got me. 19k health left as well. Do you not... Remember when I said don't stand in the spinner stuff? That's why. it kill you in two seconds flat. 
And as soon as I look left, I die. Anyway, um, the spoiler I was aiming at, because I have it um, present all the time, offline mostly, but I've had it a couple times on stream. Um, almost what war I had it four times the other night, which was phenomenal. But on this particular build, it escalates like hell. And I was getting burning status effect ticks and poison status effect ticks in excess of 70k. Yeah, it gets fucking mad. Bear in mind, obviously, the build is designed to take advantage of that. So, hence, it's called Status Pro. But uh, you stack the right stuff, it gets fucking mad. If you get it nice and early, well, you get a bit of a head start and your runs are quicker. Don't look left. Yeah, I might have done that a little bit. Anyway, should mm -hmm. big boy. Literally just saw that one. Didn't realize we had a diffuser in the room. Loads of fire, dude. Loads of fire. Well, fucking needs to go. Tough as fuck now. Look at that. That guy says, don't stand in stupid. I'll probably try that actually. You might be right. <clears throat> Fire orb. Could have done with that in there. One second. No worries, dude. I need to get a drink anyway. I'm already over time. I should probably go in a minute because I have not eaten at all today and I need to order food before everywhere fucking shuts. But we'll give it another couple rounds. Depends on how late Adrea is up for. Oh, he said wait, didn't he? My bad. That's right, I'm not going to put anything. Oh, you're good. I fucking fired that. Being a little dodgy today with some of the button presses. For me. Doesn't feel like it though. It's not as frame droppy as it has been the last few days, but it's still pretty shit. Whoa. Mostly in these arenas, the, the really high foliage looking ones. Bellfucker has to die. Oh, oh, hello. No, you don't. 
Ooh, nearly walked straight into that. Show me the money. Who gave me money? Oh shit! I nearly, I nearly got killed by the spell fucker again. And the fuck was that? Pain to get some rest and flu meds. Keeks, you're a fucking legend. Thank you so much. Bit and cake in the chat, people. Keeks is Dragonborn again. Dragonborn oh my god. You know the rules people to fight starts again from scratch. If you kill the Dragonborn, you'll take our place to stream. I'll have to kill you instead. Careful, she's fucking aggressive. Oh shit! I nearly got killed. Oh, fucking hell. Again, Keeks, you're a fucking legend. Thank you so bloody much. Oh man, I'm starting to deteriorate a little bit. Exsanguinate, we're, we're having it. It's on the bus. Oh, secret as well. Please give us Juffy with Exsanguinate. Everything's gonna die. Do you, I read that one. He's the werewolf. I'm trying not to shout for two reasons. My voice is starting to get fucked again and people are starting to sleep. But um, he's a fucking werewolf. Absolute maniac. Uh, that one, that one. So technically, we don't need one of these. No, we do. So this one, <laughs> then this one. Ah, oh, shit, I pressed the wrong one, my bad. I'll press any of them. Run, 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 run. Oh, we got denied. Doesn't matter, we got a werewolf. We should get another from this one. Oh my God, poor way rest one boss. Dude, what the hell are you doing to the boss? 40k ticks. What the shit? Thirty-five k ticks. Thirty-six. 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 What the fuck was that? Dude, that was bonkers. He's dead. As if we got that. Of all the bosses we could have gotten. Uh, revoking his boss card front until Monday. Up one. How you doing? Welcome to the stream. Is there a side that shows you what different styles look like? I'm crafting my orders raft gear and I don't know which style to pick. I'm sure there are. But that's... That's really broad. There are over 100 motifs. You want to see all the different styles. That would be a fucking massive amount of images. Um, check UESP or possibly even um, ESO Hub. They'll probably have something. Stam increase. Boo. I don't need any of this. I'll just... I'm going to take it. That's all I've got. The thing about starting ESO on console, is it worth even as a casual? I like PvP and raids, etc. Again, people keep asking... So, this isn't a negative that you're asking. It's just people always ask, is it worth it? Worth is subjective. Okay? Is it worth it to you to play another game? However, yes, it's fucking banging. If you're looking for a different MMO with an abundance of choice, go for it. You'll love it. Recently got back into playing the game, Stanblade, uh, running Kamala's Nightmare Monster set, Hunter's Armor, and Briarheart Jewelry. That's just gear, but I'll, I'll read the rest. Uh, not really sure what to go for gear-wise at some point to see a lot of conflicting builds and gear. Well, that's the thing. If you look up stuff on the internet, you're always going to find conflict. We're, speaking of which, we've got a fucking Marauder in the room. If it's working for you, great. If it's not, then change it. There are billions of possibilities and combinations in the game that exist. Um, so we could be here for a very long time going over absolutely everything. However, if you like the look of something else, the only way for you to find out whether it's good or not for you is to try it. So again, if in doubt, try it out. Quite simply, there's no harm in testing stuff out and seeing if it works for you. That is how people get results in the first place. Most people trying to tell you not to use something don't even know if it's going to work for you or not. They're just trying to copy and paste the, the one-way mentality, which, again, in this game is useless. Loads of possibilities. Try it out to see if you like it. Any recommendations to play as Peter Tank DPS? Anything you like. Every single class in the game can play every single role, so you're not restricted. Not to mention, um, you can always change your character whenever you like. You can either do respecs or you can use the armory system and completely save out uh, a, a build and load out for a particular role and then swap to something else on the fly. You're not restricted to class. Other games are very linear. They're kind of this class must do this role. This class must do that role. In ESO, it doesn't matter. 
You can use anything you want. They just have a different toolkit. Every class can play every role effectively. As far as possibilities are concerned... Oh, I'm dead. If you, um... You're gonna have to move him, Adre. He's got too many. If you counted up every single possibility... Every single possible combination of gear... Um, that there is. Even if it was one of this, two of that, three of this, and some were the same, or some were shit, or some were good, or some were bad. It's irrelevant. Um, however many options there are. Um, if you did it once a second, it'd take you 3,000 years to do it. That's how many there are. There's fucking tons. Cheers to dry up. Thank you. I'll get up as soon as that fucking wind is out my way. I'm up. We need to go somewhere safer. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Love my emergency heal. I'll leave them alive for a minute because we're going to need to not push the next wave. He's dead. We've had him three times in this run. What the fuck indeed? You already have all the gear and Polar Express in the bank. Nice. Again, the gear is only part of the build. Um, there's lots of other things to consider. Skills, passives, how you set your rotation up, champion points, etc, etc. Also, an uncalculatable variable, player skill. Maybe it's not for you. Um, maybe it is. So, there's always other ways to play. It's not like Warcraft or Diablo where it's like, do you know what? Get this or else. No, there's no else in this game. If you don't try, I mean, there's an else there. If you don't try something, you don't know what's going to happen. You have results. Pick on each start and preview it, even in a particular character doesn't try to start. You can it in game, yes, that's true. But they were asking specifically for a website. I'm assuming that maybe they're on the bus or something and they want to see how things look outside the game, Sean. As I how I realized that I read it and never said hi, so sorry. No problem at all. How am I? I'm fucking ill. And I did take meds before the stream. They're starting to wear off. Thank you for the raid, by the way. Much appreciated. Dude, this fucking Gua is kicking my ass. Because I keep looking left. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, this dude needs to die. Sunny here. My bad. Here we'll ASAP. Thank you very much. I have to. I've got stuff and things to do next week that I can't talk about. And not be ill for that. Have you already collected the parts for other builds just run around? I mean, the sticker book is a, a fucking game changer. Big piece of life. Really appreciate that you comment most here. Um, yeah, of course it is. It's massive. Absolutely massive. It just depends on the server and the time. Not that any servers are necessarily uh, less. It's just that it depends on which one you play on as to which one where prime time is. Some people never play anything but PvP. And there's several different types of it as well you've got imperial city prison uh sorry imperial city and the sewers underneath it so like an an instance of sorts but it's fucking huge and then you've got cyrodiil which is open world fucking war and then you've got um battlegrounds which is uh instance based but they're they're quick quick queue quick fucking get it get it done type games deathmatch capture the flag that kind of stuff Motor fires full stamp DK build. Yes, it is. I said uh, that's a hybrid. The old link is technically somewhat inaccurate, but it's always been a hybrid anyway. Even before the changes. Got a 1v1. There's also dueling. You can duel, uh, but don't do it next to the fucking. Next to the waste shrine like a complete puss. Because those people are shit. What is shit, bro? Because. Let me explain. People that run after questers to duel them in main cities are the first ones to use the way shrine to hide behind. You wanna duel someone? Fight me in a fucking field. Then you can 1v1 properly without using your already planned scenery to your advantage. You're up against someone who's creating a routine, you ain't gonna beat him. Those are the ones that can only play by running around trees and letting stupid people chase them. They don't have a tree outside of Cyrodiil, so they use a way shrine. If you want to duel, fight properly. 
have been a vocal guard then. Once or twice. They do it in Gratwood all the time as well. They try to make you hit the guards. Fucking weak. I one shot one dude before uh, with Murder of Fire. He was being really cocky. And all my procs went off at once and he died. He's like, oh, yeah, a bit rusty. No, you just suck. You, um, you were hunting questers all day long and you came up against something you didn't expect. Haha. Uh -huh. He tried to basically jump me with uh, a triple proc um, ambush, and it and I blocked it, so nothing went off. Because all of his sets were if you do damage, um, but he didn't. Because I had damage shield on, and he didn't touch my health, which is weird because they should just proc anyway, but they didn't. It was a while back, but it was funny. <laughs> what round are we on? Oh, boss. Rebuff. They were able to maintain Crush and Shock and Spam Ball. Am I spamming too much? How do you do it? That is specific to the build. That's not just a case of slap it on anything and spam it. You might um, have a build that makes it cost more. You might have a build that um, maybe you're struggling with resources because they're not balanced correctly, depending on how you build. There's lots of different ways to build. This particular build utilizes it very well, but others do not. Uh, is there any armor set you can recommend upgrading over hundreds? No, because what you're looking for is something to be better. Well, better is subjective. It depends on what you're trying to achieve. Do you want more weapon spell damage? Do you want um, a proc that does damage? What are you looking for? So technically speaking, no, because there's over 600 sets in the game. We'll be here for way too long. But I would recommend looking at some sets and seeing what you like the look of and then seeing if you can try them out or not. What is better is not normally the case in ESO unless it is a flat comparison of the two. Undens is very well loaded with a balanced amount of stats for crit, flat, and damage combined. So, better is is quite broad. You've already got Briarheart as well, which is a very similar set, but it's got a cooldown, so that's a trade-off. Stacking the two together, I mean, you could argue that they're very, very close. Due to the downtime, obviously. Yes, you get a heal on it, I'm, I'm aware. But... Hundens is pretty solid, to be fair. This thing needs to die so I can get it out of shield. I'm in trouble, dude. Woohoo! Good job I got rebirth. Did I pick a special? I did not. Have one. Damage shield on boss. Yes! That was lucky. Fuck the loot goblin. And Photon's just gonna go over my head anyway. Photon, I already answered the question. You can't you can't give a straight answer for that because it depends on what you want in order for it to be better. I'd love to give straight answers where there is an absolute, but there isn't for that one. Especially seeing as the closest set to it, that wise, you already have stacked with it. Depends what you want. Love that one. Boom! I just killed him with rebirth. That was mega. I just logged on the stream. Yeah, I know. And I answered the question. Do you have a link for this build I'm using? Or the name? Yes. Put status in the chat. It's called Status Pro. And I still can't get the fucking status bonus. All the way through, I can't get it. Um, I need that, because I was taking a lot of damage there. I haven't built too much for damage mitigation, because I've been chasing um, focus efforts, and I still can't get the bastard. You will see differences with that particular build today because I'm not giving spoilers on it, but there's another video coming for specifics. But that particular video still functions, or the, the build still functions perfectly fine. I've been using it here this week. Just doing something a little different today. Madreya been on the almost immortal warrior instead of me. <laughs> I know what people do. I know they're going to go straight to the gear section and then 
gauge it based on that section alone. If you do that, you won't understand the build fully. You'll just know what to put on it. That's uh, turning up in a suit and tie and not knowing what the fuck the meeting's all about. So, while the videos are fairly long, and I appreciate that's boring, because nobody wants to watch a video, they just want the information. I would recommend finding some time to pay attention to it all if you want to use it properly. Thank you for the link, Mind Distortion, much appreciated. They plan on making Endless Archive builds. Every single build on my channel already is capable of it. Because every single one of my builds for the last six years, despite the shit canoes trying to complain about it, are designed for all content, regardless of difficulty, and they're balanced to have a mixture of everything that you need. So they slot right into here already. Generally speaking, I won't give spoilers on stream because it's a Patreon platform where people pay for that stuff. However, I've already announced that yes, there will be altered specifics to even further enhance their capability. This being one of them. <laughs> so while this particular build, the Status Pro, is already solid for this place. There's an alteration coming just for here. So, once that's released, which was supposed to be today, but I was fucking too ill to record. I just had a shitty voice. Once that's released, bear in mind that that will not be the variant you should take into content. The so Status Pro as it stands, you can take into anywhere, including here. This adaptation of it, only here. Or maybe other arenas, but this is for one kill after another after another rather than specific longer content. One about getting so many leads and furniture from that place. Yeah, it's fucking insane, dude. These fuckers have got nearly a million health now. And again, if I had the passive I've been trying to chase, they'd be dead now. 33k ticks. That's not too bad. Had 70 the other night. Fucking mad. Furniture is epic. Yes, it is. Easy build. Uh, building your easy sock and thus far loving it. The pieces. Nice, serious. Thank you very much. Way steady. It's strange. Usually, I don't experience your mortal emotions. Oh, man. I'm happy. This place is quiet. Which round are we on? More ads. Blobs. Okay, let's go. Did you know if you count numbers, Easy Sword over the last six years of all the different variants to it, is actually the most watched or most popular build in the world. Is someone raising an eyebrow there going, no it's not. It is. Whether you like it or not, it is. And the Almost Immortal Warrior is the most popular tank. And that was the first build ever on the channel. So when someone sits there and goes, no, it's not. No, they're two different things. No, it's not. And I don't like it are not the same. So there you learned something. <laughs> oh, I'm not going in there first. Fuck that. Oh, I am. Fuck it. So it's not a spell fucker. Oh, that was painful. What the hell hit me? Breach. Something breach from that big dude. I thought I'd interrupted him. Apparently not. My bad. I didn't get aggro. I stood in the dumb. I thought the arrow spray was going to get me, but it hadn't even fired yet, so that didn't. Andrea's got a solo. You're not going to get away with that with a laser. 
You will when the laser's gone. Just slow burn them in a big pile of fire. That gives me a break for a second so I can breathe. Oh no! Those lasers are just horrible. This is the thing, you could come in here in this round and get no lasers. None. It was late, so it was Maga. It is Maga. Block ulti and res. No lasers, no lasers, no lasers, no lasers. Oh, flame shaper, that's painful. I'm up, I'm up, I'm up. Oh, you fucking prick. This dude over there, Punky Mook spin staff, literally just cast his AoE across the room as I got up. I think I just died to exactly the same thing. Yep, Munda's Breach. Prick. Immortal DK is so much fun to play. Made me love tanking. Thank you very much indeed. I'm glad you're enjoying it. Dre is enjoying it at the moment. He's on it. The second I got up, the second he slammed his staff on the ground. Fucking bastard. Sorry, dude. Nothing I could do. Absolutely nothing. There was no AoE underneath me, and he fucking hit me the second I stood up. Fuck this game. <laughs> that was bang out of order. I disagree. Fucking things making me stay up way too late. After Adrea's effort as well, the game was like, Do you know what? I don't care if you recover. We're just going to deny you anyway. Get fucked. You're going to have to get deep breath soon, dude. Otherwise, we're going to get those globs coming into the room and we aren't going to be able to deal with them. Ooh. Wrong button. Made a group in the EA actually got past the dragon form today. Nice, you got the title then. That's Ink Slayer, dude. Leave the game and I'm at the end of the tutorial. I'm wondering what would be a place to start. I don't know if it matters for Faction Ebonheart. Nope, doesn't matter anymore. Uh, a long time ago, it did matter. Now it doesn't. So you can go wherever the fuck you like. There is a story. Obviously, there's a main base game story. There's stories to all the chapters and everything, but it depends on what you put open. But you can play anything in any order. 100% up to you. They all kind of line up anyway because we've got some uh, time manipulation type stuff in the story. No spoilers. But um, yeah, you can do whatever you want. Totally up to you. Beginner in the chat if you want the guides for the beginner stuff. Um, but as far as order of which to do things, whatever. Doesn't matter. Please tell me it's not a spell fucker. Flame Shaper. Even worse. Nope. Woof. Daddy. Got a Totem Master in there as well. That's not ideal. Woohoo. That's big. What the fuck was that? Lava boy. Fuck. Bit of micromanagey there. -hoo -hoo -hoo. I could not get out of that. I'm not in the fire. Oh, Seeking Spheres didn't interrupt the fucking globs. Uh, no, I haven't checked out a build yet, but is there a reason why you run the ulti and not something else yes there is as soon as because you have one now is spamble that's incorrect watch the video two threads remaining dude i'm far too tired for this at this stage you're gonna need deep breath on or you got to be very quick with those interrupts i couldn't get anywhere near it not a chance Whing. it was predicted that was referenced in that to a new player you got there it's true uh only doesn't matter what you do what makes you have fun i mean it's a game. You're supposed to enjoy it. Right. I'm going to have to do one anyway. We've only got two lives left. Andrea, I might continue after the stream, but I need to go and order some food because I have not eaten in the last... Apart from a biscuit, in the last, like, 24 hours. So I need to get off stream. I'm an hour over time already. But for those of you that have been watching, thank you very much indeed. Excuse the fucking croaky voice and the stupid sniffles occasionally. I've been fucking rough. But... If you're not following on Twitch or subscribing on YouTube, hit the buttons, they are free. 
if you are not subscribing on any of the socials, wherever the fuck they are, <laughs> there's a link for socials, which is, let me remember, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, the website, zonagaming.com. Also, there's Throne, Buy Me A Coffee, and Patreon. Thank you very much for watching. Stay for the raid, because we're going to go and find a new streamer. And I'll see you all tomorrow. Bye-bye. on the rise now Woo! endless celebrations all in my house yeah. levitating now i'm super duper fly now yeah. let them boy but they see where i reside now put the time in while you always yelling time out and for quit it cause i know i'm coming with it you were sitting you were wishing i was handling my business yeah. now i got the ball like harry potter playing quidditch and my business is humongous you were thinking that